Hi guys, I know it's been a while. I apologize. I took a break. Um, but I'm back now and I'm gonna do more streaming. And I've been slowly making plans for what I wanna do for this year. Um, one of my plans is I wanna finish a bunch of games that I started, which I know technically I'm already breaking that by playing a new game, but. I decided to get back into it. I'm gonna play something that I think is pretty quick. It's a free game on Steam. Looks like a little point and click adventure. So, I'm assuming it won't take very long to beat, but we'll see. It is a horror game, and it does deal with some heavy topics, such as it has violence, gore, child abuse, child endangerment, um, as well as child death, and even themes of suicide. Hi Alex the Duck, welcome in. It's good to see you again. So if any of those things make you uncomfortable at any point, please don't be afraid if you need to leave my my stream for any reason. If you can't watch it, I totally understand. Um, please don't risk your safety and comfort uh, on account of me, you know? So if if you're uncomfortable with watching or for whatever reason you have to go because the the story is unsettling, I totally understand. I promise I won't hold anything against you. I want you guys to feel safe and comfortable in my streams. And even though I will sometimes play games that might deal with really heavy, painful topics, like, you are still free. I still want this to be a comforting stream. So you can feel at any time, like you can step away, and I promise I will understand, and I, I get it, you know? Um, but I'm gonna start going ahead, and we're gonna give it a shot, and hopefully, there we go, Lily's well. And hopefully make sure that it's, alright. sure that it's moving okay it seems like it all right perfect yeah yeah of course like I said please please don't feel bad if you have to I understand like I said this is why I'm giving the warning now all right let me check this 25 that's not too bad let's go ahead and start It is a cold, rainy day in the Tabachi household. It is a cold, rainy day in the Tabachi household. You are Lily. Lily is a young, innocent girl, nine years of age. You live in a modest home with your papa. On this cold and rainy day, you are knitting on the couch while Papa packs his things. Tonight, he needs to go to work in order to teach a night class. Looks like the game is lagging a bit. As Lily is a good child, Papa trusts you to stay safe while he is gone. Before he leaves, Papa makes hot dogs and the box mac and cheese. He helps you pour the cheese sauce on your hot dog in order to make it taste better. You enjoy your meal together, ignorant of future events. Papa put you to bed with the sound of rain lulling you to sleep. Someone help You awaken to the sound of a voice e. Lily The voice seems to come from outside You look out your bedside window Nobody 
There's nobody among the rain and darkness. Was it a dream? You open your window a crack to listen closer. Please. It hurts. Help. The well. Someone is in the well. The rope normally hanging from it has vanished. You are a good girl, so you get out of bed to go help. Read instructions? Yes. Uh, controls. Use the arrow keys to move Lily around. Lily can also move by clicking on the desired location. Touchscreen users can additionally move Lily by tapping where they want her to go. Objects can be interacted with by pressing the Z or space key in front of it. This can also be done by clicking or tapping on the object. This game auto saves to keep track of progress. It can be safely exited at most times. Okay. Certain objects and structures require the usage of other items in order to progress. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad I could be a comfort stream. To use an item, open up the menu screen with the escape or X key. Touch screen instructions to be added. On the menu screen, select the stuff options to access collected items. By selecting an item and using it on Lily, she will use it. Lily must be right in front of the item's target in order to use it. Some items have multiple places they can be used, so don't be afraid to get creative. I can't tell if it's slow because my computer's slow or if the game's just slow. Ooh, nice. How is your haircut? There are four different types of key items. Stuff, ropes, keys, and files. Stuff makes up normal items that can be used to interact with objects inside of the menu. These often have more than one use, so it's recommended to play around with them if stuck. Ropes are the main goal to work toward. These items are what Lily needs to climb down the well. The more obtained, the further down she can get. It is important to note that not all ropes are good materials. Once a rope is collected, it cannot be put back until Lily climbs down the well. Hmm. The good thing about haircuts is that even if you don't like them, hair grows back. So, I've had some haircuts I wasn't so fond of, and then it all grew back, and then I was able to cut it and try a different style that I liked more. Keys are keys. They open up certain doors and can be used infinitely in any playthrough. Finally, files are notes, letters, books. They're really anything that can be read, just like these instructions. Even if not directly taken, any file read during a playthrough can be reread from the file selection for ease of access. After collecting at least one piece of rope material, Lily can climb down into the well. The material quality and length affect the overall result of the descent. Note: Once Lily goes down the well, there is no going back. Okay. The instructions can be viewed at any time from the files tab in the stuff menu. Oh. Your knitting basket gives you comfort despite the stormy weather. You currently have no pieces of rope material. This gives you comfort. You only have one large ball of yarn left. Let's take it. With how big the yarn ball is, it probably could be unraveled into a long rope. Take the ball of yarn as rope? Yes. 
Uh, no, I have not. You took the ball of yarn. I don't have the money. And I don't like a lot of jump scares. Lamp. This is what's keeping your room bright right now. This is Sniffle Bear, or Sniffles for short. I see. Sniffle Bear! Sniffles was a gift from Auntie Mifuyu for your first birthday. He's kinda stinky, but a good stinky. Attic stinky. Weird. Sniffles, check status. I currently have one piece of rope material. This is Sniffles. Yeah, while well, Sniffles would be a brave and faithful companion on this quest, the rain isn't good for him. It's your bed. Your bed sheets are all messed up from your sudden awakening. It's your bed. Take my bed. You remember a movie that Papa brought back one weekend where prisoners use sheets to escape from prison? Take the sheets as rope? Yeah. You took the sheets. Well, that doesn't look like a very comfortable bed. The sheets made them look so much nicer. Now it just looks like a hard plank of, like, gravel. I wonder if I can take the lamp or I'll see something. The lamp may be a good light source while you're outside. The problem is... That it needs to be plugged in if you want it to be more than dead weight. This is your wardrobe. You can't open it right now, but maybe you'll be able to someday. The bathroom? The trash can. Anything in the trash can? It's empty. Oh. The shower is still wet from your earlier bath. The bath has many water safe dolls sitting on the edge. The shower's still wet. Take. Even if you stood on the edge of the tub, you wouldn't be able to reach the curtain hooks. Trying too hard at this would probably result in you cracking your head open on the side of the tub. You have no concept of what. An ER is, so you'd be out of luck if that happened. Alright. Behold! The toilet! Ah, you're okay. The bowl has always been a hard working part of the household. Even after that time, you made potions in it, causing laundry soap bubbles to completely fill the bathroom. It also never clogged, even when you put one end of a yarn ball down it and watched the entire ball disappear in the water. Truly, the most sacred appliance to be created. There's a fresh roll of toilet pooper next to the porcelain pooper. Same money, this toilet pooper is single ply. This is almost known as the worst type of toilet paper. I wonder if I could take it. Take it. Toilet paper could probably be used as rope if it's twisted tight enough. Take the toilet paper as rope? Sure, why not? You took the toilet paper. This is the bathroom sink. Preventer of disease spread and assistance of teeth cleaning. Mmm, yeah, that sounds like it'd be scary. The sink is clean, with a mirror hanging right above it. If I go through here. Daddy's room. Right? Papa's bed. This bed has always remained tidy as far as you can remember. You aren't even sure if you've seen Papa sleep in it. There we go. Papa 
puppy's bed. Let's take it. I try to take the sheets off, but it seems attached to the mattress somehow. Maybe there never were actual sheets, and the bare mattress just looks like this? Loading data. Oh. Oh. What is this? There's this receipt from a place called Sack Supply. Read it. 20 American CR XXX. 5 Addo Body XX. 1 Merm Cardia XX. Total. There's a small note written at the bottom of the paper. It reads No new orders for a bit. Too much local attention. Watch the news. No new orders for a bit. Too much local attention. Watch the news. Soon after getting it, because it was hard to play scary. Yeah, I get ya. I get scared a lot easy, too. Uh, this drawer has some of Papa's clothes. The drawer is mostly filled with socks and belts. They are all folded to perfection. If you take the belts, might be a good rope substitute you tie together. Take Papa's belts as rope. You took Papa's belts. This drawer has some of Papa's clothes. The drawer is filled with tidy whities Yeah. Well, with scary games, you're playing the experience, so it feels more real. With movies, you're sort of just watching it happen. So, playing a game could be a lot more scarier because you're in control of the character. You're the one who's moving, you're the one who's being quote-unquote chased and having to do solve all these puzzles, so that might be why it's a lot more scarier. Do not take Papa's underwear. Do not. Alright. There's a safe with a keypad on it. It seems to have space for six numbers. Try to open the safe? No. Is the receipt again? Six numbers. Twenty. Zero five. Zero one. Twenty zero five zero one. Let's try that real quick. seems to be wrong. Okay. Hmm. Papa's bed. Okay. It's the trusty family television. A collection of VHS tapes can be found in the cabinets under the TV. Some Notable ones include Rosa J's Guide to Sunman and Clip Clop and Friends Collection 1. Is the television family? Now isn't time to watch movies. Call a phone number? I don't know any phone numbers. The couch sits. Nobody to sit on it. There's a pillow on the couch with a quote from that author that looks like a scary pirate. Hmm. I never played Thunderman. I watched people play it, though. While you can't take the couch, you can see if you can take something from underneath it. Look to see if there's anything good to take. Yes. In your search, you found an old charger for something you can't remember. It's very old, with the wire being exposed in some places, but it is long enough to be used as a possible rope. Take the charger as rope. Sure. You took the stray charger. It's a book on the local plant life in your area. Read it. Which section would you like to read? Introduction. 
Greetings. And thank you for picking up my guide for the special flora located in Bethany's Mirror, Vermont. I am Magnus Bergamot, a resident of the Bethany's Mirror area since childhood. I have spent my years studying the various unique plants that only grow in this pocket of the world. Many of these plants take on unique and unexpected roles in their ecosystems, as well as provide plenty of uses for local foragers. Like with only plant or fungal life, it is important to properly identify anything you are foraging. Failure to do so can lead to extreme injury or death. It is additionally important to not violate anyone's personal territory while foraging. An angry resident of Bethany's mirror is far worse than any moose. With all that out of the way, let's take a look at the most common species you will find in the area. Okay. The majority of the trees found in Bethany's mirror are the same as those in the surrounding areas. Plenty of oak, maple, and pine to go around. The most common of the area's more unusual trees is the Nymph Mimic. It will appear as a normal birch tree, but with a female humanoid figure jutting out of the trunk. Despite appearances, this isn't an actual nymph, but a soulless tree. These, these is trees. <laughs> These trees seem to form from the souls of women who get lost in the woods or have their corpses dumped in the woods after being killed. Uh, their souls leave an imprint of sorts on a tree in Bethany's mirror, causing it to swell with the body shape. That's kind of creepy. The sap from the protrusions can be harvested and made into nymph syrup. Keep reading the section. Another commonly seen tree that's exclusive to this area is the tomb tree. While harmless towards humanoids, in most cases, this tree can pose a risk to small children and pets. Why is, why is a lot of this vegetation very deadly or disturbing? The tomb tree appears as a dead and hollow oak tree, usually in the center of a clearing. While most small animals that come across it may be interested in making a home out of this tree's many tunnels, this is actually a trap. Thanks to the tomb tree's lack of leaves, it instead gains nutrition by digesting the animals that get stuck in the tar-like sap it secretes inside its tunnels. The death of these animals is slow and full of suffering. Instead of dying of their flesh being digested, they often die of dehydration or starvation first. If something or someone you care about gets stuck in this tree sap, commonly store-bought dish soap is enough to disconnect skin from the sap. Uh, let's try vines. The vine plants of Bethany, these mirror, can be some of the most dangerous and the most useful for foragers. When looking for foraged material, the most dangerous vines to stay away from is the overcast vamp vine. I hope I'm sounding okay and that my voice isn't, like, overly loud. This vine can be identified by its bright purple suction cup-like leaves that only open rainy or o that only open rainy or overcast nights. Rainy or overcast. Touching these leaves will cause the vine to grab its new prey and attach as many suction cups as possible to the victim's skin. It will then use these suction cups to rip the victim's skin open and suck out all of their blood while they're bone dry. Keep reading this section? Yeah, why not? Let's continue to mentally scar this child. Why does my dad have so many books on weird vegetation? The game is delayed from your voice a bit. Oh, okay. Well, the game is always going to be slightly slower, and unfortunately this game is also having some uh, processing. But it's not, my voice isn't like cracking or being like too loud and I'm not making too many weird breathing noises, hopefully. Another vine that can be dangerous is the womb ripper. What the actual shit? What? Oh, I don't like the name of that one. Despite its name, it doesn't actually rip out wombs, thank goodness. 
but its danger still cannot be underestimated. The Wilm Reaper is only dangerous for those who eat the bright red berries off of its vines. Touching or squashing the berries appears to be harmless. After being consumed, the berries will latch onto the inner linings of its new host stomach and intestines. Like a tapeworm, the seeds inside the berries will steal nutrients from the host before eventually sprouting. Sensing the sun outside of the body, the moo plants will violently burst out of the host's organs, likely leaving the host to bleed out and the new vines to grow on the nearest tree or other largest lo object. No, you're fine. You're fine. Like I said, I'm gonna be playing the game, but you're absolutely okay. You're not bothering me at all. I'm just fascinated by this terrifying s these terrifying books on plants. I know some plants in our world are actually kind of like can be very dangerous, but these plants just seem to go very extreme. The body will be used by the womb ripper as extra food throughout its life. Luckily, the womb ripper vine becomes very brittle shortly after separating it from its root. This makes it easy to incinerate. Keep bringing this section? Yes, there's gotta be more. On vine, one vine that is both dangerous and useful for foragers is known as Orderly's Punishment. Often found in shade areas along tall trees, Orderly's Punishment can be easily identified by the blue thorns growing along it. Hi, hello Nova, welcome back in! So good to have you. Take care to not get pricked by these thorns as they will inject on intense hallucinogen that will last around 12 hours on average. They will additionally cause an intense itchy sensation on the victim's inner organs. Ooh. By removing these thorns though, this vine can be used as a very helpful building material. It is capable of old hold the little it is capable of holding an average of 460 pounds of weight even after being dried out. Mm, that could be good. For those suffering from joint pains, you may want to look for the flower of Icarus. This yellow flowering vine grows swiftly in the rain and thrives in deep wooded areas. By licking the pollen off the flowers, once a day, humanoid joints will begin to repair themselves. It is however very important to not take the vine itself or pick the flowers. After being removed, from where it originally planted its roots, the plant will quickly start growing micro-fractures, causing it to be easily destroyed after little amounts of pressure. Hmm, okay. Yeah, okay, Oh, thank you. I am streaming again. I hope you get some rest. It is kind of late. <laughs> Which section would you like to read? Root vegetables. Going around Bethany's mirror, there are plenty of root vegetables that can only be found only here. This is due to the area's creation and the impact the outside has on it. The dwarf mandragora can be found by paved roads near the area's border. Despite its name, it is not in the mandragora genus, rather the Dacus, Dacus genus. Oh, hey! Thank you, the head phoenix for the host. Hi, Nyx. Welcome in. I'm assuming this is Nyx. I could be wrong. Uh, they appear as inch-wide clusters of white flowers that grow at the side of the road. Picking them will reveal a purple root vegetable in the shape of a human baby. These vegetables range from 3 to 5 inches tall. Hey, welcome in. I hope you're having a good time. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. I hope you get some sleep. Oh, thank you for the stretch. I appreciate They can cause mild stomach discomfort if eaten raw, but boiling them kills the toxin that causes this. Dwarf 
mandragora is best served with melted cheese and beef. The rest of this section's pages seems to have been cut out with scissors in order to keep the recipes. Uh, I decided, so, th two things I'm gonna do, I wanna do this year, well, three things I wanna do this year for streaming is, one, I wanna build myself up to, um, partner, which would be great, I don't know when, but if I can get closer to partner by the end of this year, that would be great. Two, is I wanna finish the games that I've been playing this year, and three, is I really wanted to start playing some new games so that at the end of the year I can do a top 10 games of 2020 for me. I've never done that before, but I figured it would be really fun. So I was trying to look for games that are out right now, and this one was free, and it looked interesting because it's a point and click, and I like point and click. And it gives me more chances to play games that I, you know, don't have. So those are my three sort of things I want to do for my um, Twitch. Uh, Mabel is awake. Mabel, are you up for doing a crap app? She said, go ahead. What section would you like to read? Let's stop reading here. So, yeah. What's that? That looks like a fork on the floor. Whoa. The kitchen sink. Let's look. Uncheesed macaroni noodles are in the drain. The kitchen sink. Take. These kind of scenarios recommend taking everything but the kitchen sink for a reason. <laughs> it's the stove. It also has an oven. Papa always told you to never use a stove by yourself. He also made... You watch a VHS tape about how fires start and how they can destroy entire homes. It's the stove. Let's take the stove. You try to pull. Why, why can't you make it just Alex the duck? You try to pull at the stove with all your strength, but it seems that a nine year old child cannot lift a gas stove that was manufactured in 1975. Oh, there's a key there. I bet I could get it. I think I know what that. Fridge towers above you. Look. Your drawings cover the fridge. Fridge towers above you. There isn't much in the fridge. The grocery delivery hasn't come yet this week. These are the doors to the pantry. Let's look. Padlock keeps the door shut. This is a place only Papa is allowed to go in. Oh, is that right? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna use, uh... Cause I don't know how to, like... I guess... Climb on the stool? No, not yet. Uh, maybe? Ah! Shed House Attic. It's a letter addressed to Papa. Read it. Yes. Mm, yeah. Ten, it tends to be if you happen to have um, If it's a name that's commonly like used, unfortunately, yeah, you have to add like numbers and stuff. I've been very lucky that Colorfully Minded is uh, original enough to not need... Where did I put my water bottle? Uh, yeah. Babe, is that my water bottle? The blue one? Thank you. No, you're okay. Mm. There might also be somebody else called Alex the Duck. Dear Tony, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to you from Mother's home, as she required extra help regarding the pig farm. She is personally doing well and has asked about you and Lily. Mother is especially curious about your progress on your research project. Research? When Mother heard that you were pursuing her specialty, she was delighted to see how you would do. Please write to her and possibly send samples. I only expect... 
to stay on the farm for the next year or so before returning to Maine. With your permission, I'd like to visit your home on the way. Thank you for your time. Vic. This is the key to the shed. Should you take it? Yeah. You got the shed key. Alright. I don't think I can go anywhere else. Mm, I'm sorry. There's ways to unfollow people. Though I don't remember how to do it on mobile, but... Oh man, look at that rain. Sometimes it looks like it's floating up, then going down. Your tire swing hangs empty and alone. Hey! Hey Twitch, how are you? How are you? There's a small puddle inside the swing from the rain. You remember that mosquitoes can lay their eggs in stagnant water, so you don't want to touch it. What is that? There's a pretty big rock on the ground. Although spider crabs are terrifying, they are nearly harmless. They are scavengers like most crabs, but have been noted to pluck living plants and occasionally grab small fish and other sea life that happen to near their grass. They are poisonous though, so don't get too comfortable near them. Hmm. It's a rock. They're one of the common things to find outdoors. Oh yeah, there's a... There's a vine growing along the tree. The vine is covered in small yellow flowers. You smell incredibly sweet. Eating them probably isn't a good idea. I read about this, didn't I? If I check my inventory. Oh, my stash. No, uh, what about stuff? No Bergamot Flora. There we go. the blue forms. There's a vine growing along the tree. The vine is covered in sharp blue forms that point toward the ground. It has a chokehold on the tree. That can actually be used. There's a vine growing along the tree. The vine is covered in large red berries. You've seen birds in the area eating them before. Yeah, do not eat them. It's a pretty big rock. Can I take the pretty big rock off the ground? It's probably going to be heavy. Take the rock? Sure. You took the rock. The weight of the rock slows your movement. Status. Oh, what's the fact? You currently have five pieces of rope material. Can I use this rock to... The rock you found. It's an unimpressive one. Use rock. 
Oh, the rock is very heavy. Would you like to put it back? No, not yet. There's a pretty big rock on the ground. Rocks are one of the common things to find outdoors. Uh, check the mailbox? Yeah. No mail today. What if I go this way? Oh. Oops. Okay, cannot leave. like a shed. Let's go find a shed. You can ask if you can be put in a seed so you can become a tree when you die. You can just ask that if you like to become nature. Oh yeah! That'd be nice. I think I, I found that you can also have yourself turned into a pretty stone. for someone in a language you don't understand. Huh. The memorial says... On top of the stone is a strange... shaped hole. It's narrow. It seems to go down a little over five inches. It seems to go down over five inches. It sprouts... peeking out of the soil. Thanks to the rain... These should be growing into beautiful flowers someday. Large pink flowers are growing here. These are peon flowers. If you were colorblind, you may have mistaken these for marigolds. Actually, they look pretty different even without looking at the colors. What here? Blue. Bell-shaped flowers are grown here. These are gentia flowers. I remember my teacher in college said that when she died, she wanted to be turned into seeds uh, so she could be grown into mushrooms so that then her friends could smoke her. My teacher was pretty cool. She was, she was a little strange, but she was cool. But I just distinctly remember that. We did a class on like death and stuff and she was like yeah when I die I want to be turned into seeds and made into mushrooms so my friends can smoke me you once saw a hummingbird drink from these he ran to tell Papa but by the time he came back it was gone okay look these look like shears a large pair of garden shears are buried in the ground sick them Children and large scissors usually don't mix. Take the shears? Yes. You took the shears. There's a spare extension, f extension floor on the floor. Even in a storage shed, shed, having a wire out like this is a clear OSHA violation. The cord is thick and new looking. Take the extension cord? Yes. You took the extension cord. What's this? It's a bag of mulch. Used for gardening. What about these? A pair of bolt cutters are hanging on the wall. Let's take those. This is a pretty heavy tool. Take the bolt cutters? 
Yes. He took the bolt cutters. An old and broken weed whacker. It's left to rust in the corner. Can I take it? It's really nothing more than dead weed. Large pink flowers are growing here. Uh, what if I... <laughs> Let's do stuff. Cheers. Can I cut? There isn't anything to snip here. Alright. You're fine. Alright. I'm moving very slow. This feels very old. Even though I know it's recent, but it has a very, like, sort of old style to it. Okay. Uh. It's made of really sturdy stuff. So. Let's try bolt cutters first. It's a heavy tool used for cutting tough stuff. you technically use the bolt cutters on the vine it just crushes the vine wait really there's a vine growing along the tree okay let's try shears This vine might be able to serve as a possible rope. Cut and take the blue thorn vine for climbing? Yes. You carefully cut down the vine and use the shears to trim down the thorns. You took the blue thorn vine. Is there more over here? Remember the red berries weren't good. I remember it was the one with the blue thorns. I think that's it. I think. I think I can only go forward. <laughs> that's okay. What? Well, I don't know what this freaking rock is for. Let me let me set this rock down. If you want to put the rock down, you should at least put it in the general area found it. Ugh. This rock is good for carrying 400 pounds. Or this vine is good for carrying 450 pounds. This memorial... For someone in the language you can understand. The memorial says... On top of the stone is a strangely shaped hole. No, you're not being a burden, hun. It's ne I just- I can't always reply. Sometimes I'm gonna be focusing more on the game, but you're not being a burden, I promise. It's narrow and seems to go down a little over five inches. Five inches. What do I got that's like f five inches? Your 
your dad's belt tied together. You can make a rope. Um, this rope. I won't charge it that you don't. It's for it's a large ball of yarn used for knitting. These are bed sheets will make good. Why his painful forms possible rope? Alright. No. Con. I get that feeling. Sometimes it can be it can be hard to not feel like a burden. Or to feel I constantly feel like I'm a burden. Like I'm not doing more. But I think you should trust what your family says. This is the source of the voice. All that can be heard now is the echoes of Raindrop. If you wish to save the person trapped in the well, you will need to construct a rope. I have a rope. I almost want to attempt to use the shitty ropes just to see if I get endings. But let's try and do this how I think is the right. Let's use this blue thorned rope. No? Okay. Yeah, you should trust your family. The dark, the wall, well leads into inky darkness. You currently hold seven pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin descent. Yes. Your rope is creaking. Something is very wrong. Oh. RIP. Ooh. That, I heard that. <laughs> As you fell, you were lucky to land head first, killing you instantly. Your body lays in a contorted and unnatural state as it waits for the maggots to settle in. Well, dead end. Out end one. Bad craftsmanship. Poor construction. Rude. I mean, yeah, probably having something that had toilet paper is not a good idea. Tip, you will know if you got in the true ending when the credits start to roll. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, game. Yeah. Okay. This is your wardrobe. You can't open it right now, but maybe someday. This is the bottom slit to prevent it to spread its teeth. <laughs> Safe. It seems to have space for six numbers. No. This is our seat from place twenty. AMC five small note right on the bottom reads no new orders, too much local attention, wants the news. Comfort streams are good. I have a lot of comfort streams, true. Too. Uh. I don't know how strong belts are. Never mind. 
Adam was telling me to ask if we could get the flavored versions. <laughs> nah, I do that all the time. I ask Mabel a question, and then, um, it, like, I don't phrase it right, so it comes out, sounds, comes out sounding like nonsense, and she's like, what did you say? Attached. Maybe there never were actually sheets. Okay. Sheets are good use for rope. Call a phone number? Uh, sure. First three digits. Uh, never mind. Second three digits. Last four digits. Yeah. You can hear it start to call, but hang up before anyone can pick up. Papa said you should never call numbers you don't know. Yeah. There's smelly markers, but I don't think there's flavored markers. Definitely not. Were you thinking of like smelly markers that have the scents on them? Yeah. I think the reason my rope didn't work last time is because I grabbed a- Every time you grab a bunch of stuff, you can fashion a rope with them all together. And I picked toilet paper as one of my options just for funsies. I thought you just chose what, which one to use. I didn't realize it was, uh... It was all of them together. The Climb onto the stool, yes. Ooh, nice, which Zelda? Read this real quick. It's a letter addressed to Papa, something about taking over the research and family name and doing them proud, blah, 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 blah. What is my father up to? What, what evilness has he wrought? Maybe he's not evil. Ooh, Breath of the Wild is so much fun. I love playing Breath of the Wild. I uh, so good. This is a key to shed, but don't remember Papa locking it. You got the shed key. There's a padlock on it. Can I open it? can't get the padlock off the door with your bare hands. Oh! Bolt cutters! Uh, yes. I have beaten it. I'm just trying to 100% it now. pair of garden shears. I'll take those. Children and large scissors usually don't mix. Take the shears? Yes. You take the shears. Uh, it's a bag of mulch. Take the bag of mulch. Too smelly. Alright. Pair of bolt cutters. I will take those. Hmm. Nice! It's a really fun game. I love playing it. I'm thinking if I should ever replay it on Steam. Probably not. It's a, it's a long game and I do like it, but um, there's a spare extension for on the thing, even in storage. Shed having a wire outlet. This is a clear... It's a what? There's a spare extension... Oh, I don't know if a spare extension would hold well. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the only place you can play it. Well, that I guess in the Wii U. But, um... Yeah. Even though I love the game, I don't think I'll come back to it. At least not to, like, replay it again. Um... But I did enjoy it. Very much. The vine growing along the tree. Uh, wait, nope. We're gonna stuff. 
stuff. I'm gonna use the shears to cut them down. This vine might be able to serve as a possible rope. Cut and take the blue thorn vine from climbing. And carefully cut down the vine and use the shears to trim down the thorns. You take the blue thorn vine. There's a vine growing along the tree. I think burning it will make it brittle, so probably not that one. Ooh, heck yeah! Congrats! That looks like a good rope. I wonder if I can maybe cut the rope off the, uh... The rope should hold strong, but the, sh the rope holds strong, but the shears should cut them. Cut and take the tire swing rope for climbing? Absolutely. Yeah, the rope holds thick, but the swing goes down. You took the tire swing rope. Alright, now we got some stuff. to the pantry and I've got bolt cutters so you're letting me in that it's a heavy tool used for cutting tough stuff heck yeah you really are allowed in the pantry break the lock anyway? yep the lock usually snaps off papa can probably get a new one of canned foods are stacked in the pantry shelves. There are cans containing tomatoes, beans, and ham. You aren't sure how they could have fit an entire ham in a can. What's this? It's a large sealed bag of beef jerky. The bag is very full, but Papa always tells you that jerky is expensive. Yeah, no problem. Rice. Why am I not allowed in the pantry? This looks like a regular pantry. I thought I was gonna like walk into some experimentation. Large sealed bag of beef jerky. This may be a good treat while outside. Take a piece of jerky. Yes, you took the jerky. Right of canned foods. May I take any? Papa never taught you how to use a can opener, so you don't take the cans. Is there... What is this purple stuff on the floor? Well... I thought there was gonna be something more. Oh, I didn't take my sheets. your bed. You remember a movie that Pop brought back on weekends for the prisoners? Take the sheets of rope, yes. Take the sheets. I don't think a ball of yarn is gonna hold me. This is your wardrobe. You can't open it right now, but maybe you'll be able to someday. Belts are pretty sturdy, wouldn't you say? Belts kind of have that sturdiness. But I don't know if they're that sturdy. The belts might be a good rope substitute if tied together. Take Papa's belts as rope. Uh, sure. You got Papa's belts. Okay. I think... We have some good rope. This is the surface of the voice. All that can be heard now is the echoes of raindrops. If 
if you wish to save the person trapped in the well, you will need to construct a rope. I think I have some. Well, we into the inky darkness. You currently hold four pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin the descent? Yes. These all feel like very strong items. Nothing's broken yet. Uh, I don't like going to Costco, but we've gone a few times. Oh, this is holding. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless, but there seems to be another tunnel you can reach. Perhaps this is where the voice was coming from? I hope this is the right way. What's this? You can see the lake outside. You are suspended high in the air looking down upon it. The weather is causing waves to crash violently against the rocky shores below. You can even see- oh! Your body is washed out of the draining pipes into the lake. Before hitting the water, your face makes direct contact with the rocks below. Ooh. Oh! Look away! This is disturbing. Oh! Oh no! Not even Papa would recognize you now. Oh. Dead end. I can drown. For the good cheap food and samples. They have some good food there. XO. Wait, X O X X X X. That looks like a number, but there's a zero. That's it. Tip. Oh, I bet I need to call a number. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm gonna grab my tools. Ah! I bet I have to get a bunch of dead ends to uh, unlock numbers. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ow, my foot. What was this for? This number of oh. Okay. You okay? Yeah. You tip. You will know if you've gotten the true end when the credits start rolling. Okay, so I think this is a game where I just have to die a lot. So congrats. Here we go. I'm here for it. Alright. Well. Let's go. I'm just gonna go touch stuff. And try and get some endings. vine growing along the tree. Sure. Trying to pry this little tree with your bare hands would result in bleeding and the inability to touch anything without pain for a long time. It's probably better to cut it down. Boo. I'm sorry. Like I said, this game is going to have some disturbing imagery, so if at any point it's uncomfortable, Please do not be afraid if you must take a break for a while. Let's see. There's a vine growing along the tree. Can I take it? This vine is rooted deep into the ground. It's probably better to cut it down. Damn it. Alright, fine. Seems like it just wants me to cut shit. Alright. It's your bed. Let's take it. Movie. Yeah, like I said, this 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 game has violent score, um, child abuse, uh, child harm and death, and uh mentions of suicide in the game. So if at any point these are uncomfortable topics. Please feel free to 
you know, go if you need to go. I never want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. Bolt cutters, yes. Uh, wire can be pretty nifty. Alright, got it again. This way. Serve as a possible rope. Cut and yep. It's on vine. Okay, what if I do take now? If I loop in the round, it's probably better cut it down. Okay. Let's try this one, because as long as I don't eat it, I should be fine. This vine might be able to serve as a possible rope. Cut and take the red berry vine for climbing. You carefully cut down the vine, squishing many berries in the process. You took the red berry vine. Touching it is okay. Whoa! Uh... What the... The f... The f... Uh, what was that? Y'all saw that, right? That wasn't just me. Huh? This is the turtle pond. It's too dark to see below the surface of water, but you can see a couple turtle shells around the pond. Papa always told you to not touch the turtles because they can bite off your fingers and toes. What did I... What caused... Uh... Big rock on the ground. What's this? Flower, four flowers are growing here together. I don't remember seeing that earlier. The rain is drowning the flowers. Uh, take? Huh? It is. You don't really want to be around this plant for some reason. Huh. chain serves as a handrail for the bridge. Let me take it. The chain seems like it would be a good rope structure. Too bad. It's welded into the support poles. Mm. But haha <laughs> funny thing. Bolt cutters. The chain leaning the bridge can make for a good rope. Yeah. Cut and take the chains for climbing? Yes. Take some extra strength, but you managed to snip the chain. Right. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, do what you need, hon. 
I totally understand. If you want to go say hello to them or go check them out too, you're always feel free. Never feel bad if you have to leave my stream for any reason. Even if you just like hop off and you're like, alright, I'm done watching Wisdom for the day, like, please don't like worry. Like, I'm always happy to have you, but I promise like you, if you need to go do other things, I'm not going to be like upset that you're not here every day, you know? You are your own person who is allowed to do their own things, so I want you to know that it's totally okay. You don't have to be in every stream if you don't want to, or if any time you feel uncomfortable, you are free to leave and go uh, get comfort from another place that you need to. Take some extra strength, but you managed to snip the chain. You took the chain. Nice. Said something about like a narrow hole. I didn't happen to be like this weird ass jerky, would it? Jerky's a weird thing. Dried meat that's been eaten outside that's best eaten outside. You aren't hungry right now, okay. There's a memorial for someone in a language you don't know. There's nothing to take. should go get dad's belts. Yeah, no problem. I'm always happy just to say hi. I appreciate you always being here. You've been really nice and kind. Now, like I said, if you I always want you to know, too, that, again, if you're ever, like, feeling like you just want to... <gasps> Will you pull me out of PPJ? Sorry. Um... Please know, too, that, like I said before, um, it's my job to entertain you guys, so never feel like if you ever just want to come in and just lurk or chill, or maybe you just want to watch, maybe you're not feeling as talkative today, or for whatever reason, please know that you, like, you don't have to, um, you know, you can always just come in and watch, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to, you're always just free to chill out, like I promise, you're all good. Uh, again, it's my job as the streamer to entertain and talk with you guys all, but I'm always happy if you guys ask me questions, but even still, I, I appreciate if you're just watching and chilling, um, because I like to play too, and I like to, I like to talk about the game, and this game is already wild, I have no clue what's happening, like, I kind of want to know what the ending is, because it's like, I'm intrigued enough to be like, okay, how do I get here? This melt, this belt might be a good rope to tie together. But yeah, please know that you are always free to just chill out. You don't have to like, uh, look up some stuff. But I'll ask. Okay, twenty American, five auto body. Uh, I want you to just have it in the background, and if I get stuck, I'll I'll ask, baby. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, Alex. Food. It looks like I need to have 15 things, but I don't know. I'm ner- part of me wants to try and use- I don't know. Part of me's thinking maybe I should try and use, uh, yarn? Yarn seems like- I don't know. I don't know how tough yarn is. Your knitting basket. With how big that yarn ball is, it probably could be reaveled into a long rope. Take the. Uh, fine, we'll use it once. Take the ball of yarn. I think that's it. I think that's as far as I'm gonna get. 
So let's try this and see what happens. I think I got my plan. Also, I don't remember that red flower being there. So, if I die again, remind me to take a look around this area and tell me if there's anything. Reminder that there's just a rock and this red flower and these little white dots in the ground, but they don't look like this is the source of the voice. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking, like, yarn can be tough because it's used to, like, knit things. <laughs> if I die. When I die. <laughs> I might have found the right combinations. I think I found all the right things I needed. If you wish to save the person. But I could be wrong. You well, he's an inky artist. You currently have hold eight pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin the descent. Yes. Let's go. Uh-oh. I, I picked something wrong. Your rope is creaking. Something is very wrong. Okay. Something I grabbed was not good. Think positive. I... It was either the extension cord or the rope. Bad craftsmanship. Well, fine. Game, and then tell me what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. Maybe the rope was a bad idea. Hang on, I'm just gonna use the rope. I want to see if this is it because if it's if it's the knitting. I took the ball yarn. All right. We're testing shit. Sure, there's a achievement for not having it long enough. So this is the source of the voice. All that can be heard now. If you wish to save the person, the well leads into the inky darkness. Currently held one piece of possible rope. Yes. All right. Let's see if this is it. Da -da 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 -da. Yarn is a bad idea. I think I think a lot of people feel insecure. I feel insecure all the time. I think it's a normal part of being human and it takes a lot to to It takes a lot to get over those insecurities. It takes a lot to to not listen to them to instead um think positively. You just gotta keep at it, and not every day is gonna be perfect, but if you keep trying to be more positive than negative, um, you know, it's, it's better. It can be easier, but a lot of people feel really insecure when they're young, so. And even now, as an adult, I still feel super insecure. I'm 25 and I have a lot of insecurities. Insecurities tend to just happen. So, but, okay, so I know that now that the yarn is bad, just don't have bad, don't, no yarn. There are 15 total rope materials that could be found, but not all of them should be collected and used. Gotcha. Yeah, I figured that. Skip the intro, yes. Alright. Your sheets are good. It's your book. Nope. Your bed. I'll take that. You remember a movie. Sorry if it's slow. I wish I could skip this faster. The game's already a little bit 
sluggish, but it's still a really fun game. It's interesting, despite it sort of not being the fastest, it's a very interesting game. Alright. Let's grab Dad's belt. Because I know belts are strong material. Well, if it makes you feel better, I think freckles and moles are very cute. So, it just depends on output. The way that sometimes you can see, I know there's things I'm insecure about. Sometimes I'm insecure about my chubbiness. Sometimes I wish I were thinner. Um, because sometimes if I, if I position my face in a way, it can make it look like I have a double chin. And that makes me uncomfortable. But, um... I know, even when I feel insecure about that, Mabel thinks my chubby is really cute. So sometimes it's also a matter of perspective and things like that. Taking this key. Mm. You can get freckles from, from the sun. There's something in this, right? Fridge towers above you. There isn't much in the fridge. Grocery delivery hasn't yet come. Okay. They're little moles, probably. I have a ton of moles. Are they are they brown and kind of thick? Do they sometimes like have a little bump to them? Because I have a ton of little brown moles on my skin. And sometimes moles can be red, too. They're not always brown. Yeah. Oh, I just realized that was you, Mabel, replying to that. I got bumps and dots all over my arms, too. Yeah. I think your dots and spots are very cute. They might be freckles. They might just be weird little reddish freckles. Take the shears. Yes. Yeah. For a second, I thought it was Alex talking, so I was like trying to imagine what they were, and then I realized it was you, so I was like, oh wait, I know what you look like. I have never seen a girl before. Do not know what they look like. Are they cute? Please let me know in chat. The cord is thick and new looking. That seems like extension cord sounds... Extension cords can be kind of... I'm not that heavy. I'm like a nine-year-old girl. Anyway, we'll test it. Uh, escape. Uh, stuff. Bolt cutters, use bolt cutters. The chain. Lining the bridge could make for a good rope. Cut and take the chains? Yes. Like I said, insecurity is hard, especially if you deal with things like anxiety and depression. Your insecurities are going to feel a lot bigger. That always sucks, but like I said, with time you start you start to as long as you start to think more positively and not listen to the negativity, you start to like truly believe in those things and you do start to feel confidence and you do start to lose some of that insecurity. 
but it's it's a thing you have to actively you know push yourself to to remind yourself that you're a good person or that you're beautiful or that you're smart or whatever whatever your insecurity is telling you're not you're not it's good to remind yourself that you are those things because if you let the insecurity win then it's only gonna make things worse There's something watching you from the darkness. Uh, I don't remember seeing that earlier either. Are they just slowly letting me see like weird things? I'm... <laughs> There's some like little things going on in the back that I did not notice before. Fine. I think these ones are still good, but let's take them. Shears. Shears. Couldn't take the red berry. Yeah. It's just important to keep thinking those thoughts. Like I said. You're probably going to feel insecure for a bit. It's it's hard not to feel insecure. Especially again if you deal with like I know for for a fact I deal with a lot of heavy things and I have days that are are uh good and days that are bad and so I struggle with insecurity too, so just just always remember that you're not alone. Okay, this might be source of the voice. Oh, I never grabbed some jerky. I might need it. Mm. I'm glad I can be a source of comfort. I know I'm not always perfect, um, but I try my best to be uh, comforting to those around me, and I try to make people happy. So even when I'm playing heavy games and things, or uh, games that are dumb and silly, like I like to still be that good person to just chill with. You really aren't allowed in the pantry. Break the lock? Yeah. I want jerky. Dad keeps all the good shit in here. It's mine now. This would be... Take a piece of jerky. Can I take another piece of jerky? It's a large sealed bag of jerky. You already took a piece. Don't be greedy. Okay. Who's gonna know? Who's gonna know if I take the whole damn bag? That's not here. That's not here to yell at me. Yeah. No, jerky is just an item to have. Okay, I think I have everything now. But if something doesn't work, then I'll just have to process of elimination. Has it been to the set? Yes. This should. Can I go back up? No. Okay. Uh oh. Damn it, what did I. Your rope is creaking. Something is very. Okay. I'm gonna assume the extension cable is a big no. So let's do the sheets, the blue, the belt. Yeah. I'm not feeling really insecure right now, but we can stop talking about that. Don't worry, hon. 
I've I've gotten comfortable talking about a lot of my feelings, so I tend to not be I don't know. I tend to talk about a lot of things that maybe make other people feel uh, would other people would feel uncomfortable sharing and I don't tend to have that kind of um sameness so I can I can I can I tend to talk I can talk about things that maybe other people feel more uncomfortable but we can stop talking about this topic all normal items in the stuff menu need to be found in order to get to the bottom of the well except for one all normal items in the stuff menu get to the bottom of the well except for one okay skip the intro yes Take. No, because I've used the belt before. And I felt the belt. It was when I took the... Alright. Let me try... I'm going to take the belt. And if... And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid some other things. And if it's not the belt... Take. Took belt No, I don't know. I don't know the safe yet. Oh yeah, the duck fact. I mean, I yeah, yeah. That that was fair. I just remember that. I watched a video called More Fracks About the Duck. It was hilarious. Okay. Uh that's how I learned about ducks and their their the 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 thing I did not need to know. He's a fun YouTuber. He does information uh, about animals. And he tends to do this very narrative voice. And he's very chill. But sometimes he breaks character and starts laughing and it's really hilarious. But he tells like just informational things about animals while also being strangely hilarious. Uh, yes. Pretty heavy tool. Take the bolt cutters. Huh. Yeah. Okay. A chain would be really good. I know for a fact. I fit I found out that I could get this chain. This game, I know, is not very long, but I'm still just like... Chain lying the bridge can make for a good rope. Cut and take. Yes. Oh, I can't remember. Ba Mabel, do you remember the name of the person who does the more facts about the frog? Do you remember who the, the name of the person was who does the more facts about the... Huh? It's true facts. True facts. Do you know who it's by? True facts. Oh, okay. Facts the the I guess the YouTuber's name is just True Facts. Yeah. If you, if you look up True Facts About and then type in Frog, because that's the first one I think of, that YouTuber will come up. It takes some extra strength, but you manage to snip the chain. You take the chain. I bet there's one for being so heavy that I just fall. Up. Okay. So, I'll keep the belt, and we'll see. If it's a belt, then it's a belt. I wanna... I'm taking... I'm testing things now. Rope so strong and the shears could should cut it. Cut the tire swing rope. The rope pulls six, but the swing goes down. You took the tire swing rope. Hmm. 
enjoy your lurk. Let's use these shears. It's fine. Might be able to serve as a possible rope. Yes. Let's just use this one. Carefully cut out the vine. Check the boots on the rope. have an unlurk but you can just keep talking lurk is just to let me know if you need to like chill out or you're in the corner just hit chilling all right this is the key to the shed but you don't remember popper ever locking it okay that's a good thing papa always takes the house key with him when he leaves you have never hey shatter welcome in so good to have you guys if you don't know you should check out shatter sugar uh really good streamer they're clown i super love their work so uh yeah please if you have a moment check out shatter sometime i believe he, he i am having a good stream welcome in let me see. Shutter. Shuga. I hope that worked. There we go. Yay! Uh, it might be Z Frank 1. I don't know. You've never seen the key to the attic before, just it's placed on the board. Where is the attic? Is there an attic in here? I don't see no attic. Where the hell is. Oh, Oh, okay. Uh, Mabel says it's Z Frank. That's that's the person. All right. We're getting bolt cutters. Use bolt cutters. You really aren't allowed in the pantry. Break the lock. Yes. The lock easily snips off. Papa can probably get a new one. Oh. Uh. Uh. Tony, I can't do this anymore. She's been telling you things that would make you sick. A She's been telling you things that... Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Why did it do that? I know it's part of the game, but where's the rest of the game? The rest? I mean, it's part of the game, but it's in another window. What the f- it, It's all in the same- She's been telling you things that would make you s- Uh... Yeah, it's- I don't know, so- You hear- Okay, so the game basically premises is that it's a horror point and click um, and basically, the point and click, uh, what the fu- okay. Uh, she's been telling you things that would made you sick a year ago. Okay, now it's back. So it's just, it just does this, um, what the f- I thought things would be different now that she's dead. Oh, um, sorry. But Shatter Sugar, this game is called uh, Lily's Well, and you are a little girl. I think you're 11, and your name is Lily, and you hear crying coming from the, um, from, like, outside, and you notice it's coming from the well outside your house. So your hope is to get down to the well, and you have to gather material to make a rope to safely get down to the well, 
and I guess just randomly sometimes scary things will happen because every time I've walked into the pantry before it's been fine and now it's now it's saying things like I thought things would be different now that she's dead but you've just gotten worse I don't like it she isn't your mother or God How many people did you kill to try and recreate her body? Uh. Oh. Oh God. It's doing it. I think it's just for some reason it's part of the game messing up. Cause text will just appear. So you know how like when a game, so you know how like, yeah, it's opening in a different window is what's happening. So, like, you know how when a game uh, struggles and it starts to be, like, for whatever reason, it starts to, like, being, like, windows cannot complete. You're having issues. Shut down. Uh, basically, a window is popping up like that right now, which is why it keeps taking away from the... Get the fuck away from me, Tony. Uh-oh. Dad, what did you do? Yeah, error messages. So it's, it, they are showing up on stream, but they're taking a bit, and then the er, it's. Oh shit! I am taking Lily and leaving. So sometimes they'll pop up, and then sometimes they won't. So if you hear me talking, that's me reading this thing. And apologies if it takes a second for it to pop up, or if it doesn't. Oh no. Let go of me. Oh, no, stop. Stop, 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 Hi. Ma? But that's not Lily. <clears throat> Fatal error. Unauthorized scene call. Ma, remember her. It's frozen over here. Yeah, it's frozen over here. Okay, I'm gonna try and uh, redo that. So let's try that again. I hope that maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. We'll see if it's an actual glitch or maybe that's just a... Uh... Because it said error, fatal something. But maybe it was me. So let's try that again. Let's see if we can get that again. I have no clue. That was uh, uncomfy. We're in hell. Climb aboard. Welcome. Kick up your feet. There's nothing you can do now. And... Resume. Continue. Yeah. Oh, I did not like the sound that made. Uh, what do I got?
Let's climb back on the stool. It's the label for the key shed. You have never seen the key to the attic before. There's its place on the board. Mm. I tend to be a bit clumsy and end up getting hurt. Purple always takes the key. Okay. Well. Let's try this again. And maybe- Can you check to see if that's a thing that just happens? If it freezes or if it's a glitch? You really aren't allowed in the pantry. Break the lock anyway? Yeah. Lock easily snaps off. Bob well, can probably get a new one. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it's back to normal! Yeah, this is what, what the pantry's supposed to look like. For anyone who just got here and saw the crazy shit that happened. Um, there was no stair. I'm very... Maybe that was supposed to happen. Maybe it was just supposed to freeze, but maybe not. Let's be a good treat while outside. Take a piece of jerky. You took the jerky. What if I just kind of... I'm like waiting for something to... It's the trusted family television. Now isn't the time to watch movies. Book on local pants. It's a book on the local plant life. Ugh, no. Ugh, I would not want spiders laying. Okay. I got five pieces of rope. I'm really gonna be sad if that was a glitch that I just- This is the source of the voice. All that can be heard now is the echoes of raindrops. If you wish to solve the problem trapped in the well, you will need to construct a rope. Alright, let's try this. The well leads into inky darkness. You currently hold five pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin the ascent. Yes. Please don't break. Oh, we can keep going down. Okay. Now I have more than six pieces of rope. Alright. Let's see how far we get. Let's keep going. Oh no! Wait, there's a window. The rope has come to an end. Uh, the last time I did, I got shot out of the water and was killed. Oh. That was the- that was my water ending. The way- the way down seems endless, but... A darkened window juts out from the side of the well's wall. It's slightly open. You swing closer to take a peek. But you overshoot it and tumble into the pitch black room. It seems like you've landed on something soft. You try to feel around to get a sense of your surroundings. Huh? Lily? Papa! Where? I thought... Shh. It's okay, Lily. You just had a bad dream. N no! You went to work! And there was a voice! A voice? kind of voice. Oh, uh, um, it came from the well. Oh, the well. I hope you don't go, didn't go near it. The voice sounded like she was in trouble. I, I wanted to save her. Now, Lily. Even in a dream, 
You need to remember what Papa tells you. But you weren't there. Lily? Good girls listen to Papa, even when he isn't home. Especially when you hear voices from outside. That's how bad little girls get kidnapped or eaten. Will you remember that, Lily? Yes, Papa. Oh, it's just... But does it glitch out? Is it supposed to glitch out? Yeah. It is? Okay. Will you... Will you remember it down to your soul? Y yes Papa. Good girl. Good night, Lily. Good night, Papa. Under Papa's watch, you quietly go to sleep. His words ring through your head as you lose consciousness. His words ring through your head as you lose consciousness. His words ring through your head as you lose consciousness. His words ring through The fuck? I mean, smothering affection. Four. Ooh, a new number. Okay, a new number. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I mean, I had a feeling the dad was bad. It was about child abuse, and I could think of nothing else that part of happened. And... Okay, I got a zero and a four. Tip. All normal items and stuff menu need to be found in order to get it. Yeah. Skip the intro. That was scary. Can I take this lamp? I want to take this lamp. Lamp may be a good light search while you're outside. The problem is that... It needs to be plugged in if you want to be more of okay. it. It's your bed. Take it. Yeah, it looks like this is a game all about dead ends. Take the sheet as a rope. Alright, let's make a bed that's too short. Let's do that. And see what ending we get. <gasps> Look! Ah! Oh, blue flower! Five flowers are growing here together. So I think every time you die and you unlock a number for the thing, I think that's that those flowers represent your death. <gasps> oh shit. Okay, hear me out. This is just a theory. What if Lily is just a clone? So every time you die in the game, yeah, that one was a child abuse one. Every time you die in the game, uh your dad makes another lily and that's why there's flowers that pop up every time those are your either past lives or those were your previous clones or those were your i don't know that's a theory that's what i'm thinking it has something to do that maybe i'm just looking into it maybe it's just the game's way of telling you like yeah these are just a it could be just a little easter egg but i know those flowers are my previous uh lives so I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm under the suspicion Dad is doing something. Do you think you can die in the woods and become the tree nymph tree? Ooh. Yeah. Looks like someone crushed the flowers at some point. Wait. Five flowers are growing here together. There was a earlier, like, cutscene, and I don't know if you saw it. Hopefully you didn't. But there was an earlier cutscene that did show um, that specific sensitive topic. It looks like someone crushed the flowers at some point. Oh, because you got smothered by your dad! Four flowers are growing here together. The rain is drowning the flowers. Those are the ones that were drowned! Oh! This is so... This game is really interesting. This is the source of the voice. All that can be heard now is the echoes of raindrops. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm glad you didn't see it, but there was a Easter egg that when that thing was happening, all the weird messages and stuff, and it was like creepy, and we were climbing stairs. Yeah, that had some uh, 
that had like a scene that was very sensitive and if you wish to save the bird and trapped in the well, you need to construct a rope. Alright. I got a rope. I got one piece of rope. The well leads into the inky darkness. Currently hold one piece of possible rope. Use it to descend. Yes, this is this is our dumbass ending. Because we're not gonna get very far. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. No voices can be heard. Just the sound of your own breathing. What is that sound? It sounds like... Uh... Hi? Hello? Uh... Okay. Well. Pog? Pog. How dare. <gasps> Wait, they had the clippers! Maybe if I... T oh, there I am! I am... Ooh! Ooh! Ow. So if you grab the clippers before... Yeah, if I grab the clippers before, I wonder if... Because they said you can get... I don't... I think... I don't think so. Okay, two. Two is the one. Uh, but I got an end. So now I'm gonna try and take the tools I need and then climb down with only one item and see what happens. Because maybe that you can technically get similar endings, but small things can change what happens in the endings. But first, I need to use the bathroom. This is making me have to pee. I am full of fear and pee. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Let's continue with this game. Slowly, we are getting to the end. So I think in order to get the true end, we have to get all the bad ends to reveal the numbers on the phone. Because the phone will give us something. You know if you got a true ending with a candidate start to roll. Yay, thank you. Skip the intro, yes. Alright. It's your bed. Let's take that. Remember a movie. Take the sheets. You took the sheets. Alright. red flower uh, I did not say pog I don't think I did a singular flower is growing here looking oh Mabel said she yelled pog looking this makes your legs ache for some reason oh oh these are the number so this is one this is ending one this is ending four one two three four five ending five okay the flowers represent numbers that's that's clever. All right, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the shears so the man can't cut my rope. A pair of bolt cutters. Take. This is a pretty heavy tool. Yes. You took I the kinda thought it was another little girl. Another little girl? Yeah. Ooh. It might have been. It was a dark figure with just red eyes. Past Maybe. Ooh, a past incarnation. Could be. Children in large scissors usually take. Yes. This is a memorial. I wonder if this memorial has something to do with the truth. There's a memorial. For someone in a language you don't understand. Hmm. The m m memorial says, hmm. And if I knew what those words meant, I might know what it says. But I don't. On top of the stone is a strangely shaped hole. It's narrow and seems to go down a little over five inches. All right. And again, let me know if I'm if the mic is too close to my face. All right. I've taken the bolt cutters. So let's see if that changes anything. Maybe. <laughs> I took all the sharp weapons. All that. Da da da. You will have to construct a rope. So I'll probably get a different ending. Maybe. I currently have one piece of possible rope. Yes. Alright. Uh 
Uh oh. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. No voices can be heard. Just the sound of your own breathing. What is that sound? It sounds like. Oh, nope. They still have it! Okay. Hmm. Maybe it's however far down you go. Maybe you get endings depending on how far down you go. Have you interacted with the lantern yet? Oh, lantern? Oh no, I didn't know. Like right above the sewer gate, if you can get the rope down there. Maybe. I didn't think I could grab the lantern. That's a good point. Uh, still have that tip if you're having a really hard time with the puzzle and are ready to pull your hair out. Check to see if anyone made a walkthrough online, lol. <laughs> Thanks, game. Okay, let's take two. Because I think the more uh, times you go down... Yes. Okay. <laughs> Our man said look up a guide If one's even been made yet too That's what it sounded like It was like oh Do you need help? Uh, See if somebody else has made you a guide Clothes Let's draw some of Papa's clothes Let's take his belts The belts might be a good rope substitute Alright So now let's go down with two items Because I bet you something else happens. If that was one rope, and then I used four ropes, and that one was five ropes, then let's see what happened, what ending I get with only two ropes. This is what I think. This is the source of the voice. All that can be heard now is the echoes of raindrops. I feel like Poe would like this game. Like, Poe would probably have a really fun time playing this game. Maybe. Two pieces of possible rope. It's like a quick and easy, fun little point and click horror. Alright, let's see how far. Let's see what ending we get. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. We'll meet up with SpongeBob and his snail Gary. I'm just kidding. The rope has come to an end. Oh, the way down seems endless. No voices can be heard. Just the sound of your own breathing, and the rain falling from above. It mixes with your sweat, making your hands uncomfortable. I should. You decide to give up and climb back up. The task is much more difficult than lowering yourself down. The pain in your hands and the moisture in the area create a terrible combination. Ooh, yep. You lose your grip and fall. Okay, so yeah, every time you get to some point, it will. Alright, that was ending two, I believe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I am broken again. Ouchies, my legs! I will definitely tell her about it next time. I can talk to her dead end. Butterfingers. This game has a dark sense of humor with its achievement system. Eight! Alright, so the first number we got... The first three numbers is 8024. That's all I have so far. Alright, time to make a rope with three ropes. Oh, right, Mabel said. Let's look at the lantern. No, it doesn't look like I can grab the lantern. It's too high. That's what I was thinking. Uh, there's two. There's the second flower. Two flowers are growing here together. The lantern in the well. <gasps> oh! Looking at this makes your palm sweat for some reason. <laughs> this is game and it's a little dark, clever humor. In the inky darkness, you currently hold three pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin the descent? Yes. Down we go, deep below. Down, down, down we go. The rope.
rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. Ah? Uh? The nearby lamp turned on by itself. Such a thing could be helpful right now. You reach over to take the light off its hook. A terrible decision, really. Hmm. Well. Let's shed some light on this situation. <laughs> I shouldn't be. Oh. Oh. Oof. Dying light. Ah, clever. Oh, they they got some good clever puns in there. Oh, 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 three, three. Ah! We're getting close. I still have. Oh my gosh, I still have. One, two, three, four, five. Five endings to find. Where the frick am I gonna find five endings? Tip: Bad rope material cannot be discarded, but there is one Lily can find that can be converted into good material with a special item. Skip the intro, yes. It's your bed. Wait, I wanna check something. Scissors take to the shears. Pair of bolt cutters. Really heavy tool. Alright, I want to see if it's this that made it. There's a spare extension floor on the extension floor on the floor. There's an extension floor on the floor. Cord is thick and new looking. Take the extension cord? Sure. I need to see if this is the thing that keeps causing me problems. Because if it's not, then I know I can take it. There's three flowers. These three flowers are growing here together. Flowers seem to be reaching for the lamp near the house. Where did the music go? Oh, there it is. Oh, no. It's back. Why is it like this? I'm just gonna go ahead and eat. No, thank you. This is the source of the voice. So I guess every once in a while, just weird, creepy things can happen. I guess you say the person tries the well, you need to construct a rope. Well, you currently hold one piece of possible rope. Yes, I want to see if this is the one that is the bad. Okay, it's not the extension cord. I can see that now. So the extension cord is fine. So now to figure out what it is. There are still <gasps> There's apparently an achievement called uh the worst possible job. Create a rope made only o made only of all the bad rope material. All right. Two K. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. 
mediums can serve more than one purpose to suck. Use what you have at your disposal. Yeah. There's apparently one where you can get it if you, uh, bad rope. So, an example would be, let's, let's do that, funsies. Your knitting basket gives you comfort despite the stormy weather. With how big the yarn ball is, it probably could be unraveled into a long rope. Take the ball of yarn as rope? Yes. You took the ball of yarn. Hey, look. Wait, no, 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 come back. There is a fresh roll of toilet paper next to the porcelain pooper. Take it! Toilet paper could probably be used as rope if it's twisted tight enough. Take the toilet paper as rope? Absolutely! Also, just in case, I if you look at it, it says it's one-ply toilet paper, so you know it's of just the highest quality. This is the bathroom sink. Prevent of disease spread. Anything in here? The sink is clean with a mirror hanging right above it. Actually, there's a clump of hair in the drain. The sink is clean with a mirror hanging right above it. It's long, so it's probably yours. <gasps> Wait, can I take fucking hair from the drain? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's gonna be gross. If you managed to take this, it'd be impressive. Damn. I thought it would let me try and take the, uh... Okay, okay. I know there's something under here. The couch sits with nobody to sit on it. Hmm. While you can't take the couch, you can see if you can take something from underneath it. Look to see if there's anything good to take. Yes. In your search, you found your knitting needles. Take them? Wait, knitting needles? You took the knitting needles. That wasn't what I was looking for. That wasn't their last. Ooh, why well, can't take the couch? Probably. In your search, you found an old charger of something that you can't remember. It's very old, with the wires being exposed in some places, but it is long enough to be used as possible rope. Take the charger? Yeah, let's take the shitty charger. Well, now I know that there's other things under this damn couch. The couch sits with nobody to sit on it. Well, you can't take the couch. You can see if you can take something from underneath it. Uh. Nothing here but dust bunnies. Alright, what about this side? I did not realize that there was a ton more things to take under this damn couch. Well, you can't take the couch. You can see. If there is something under it. Nothing here but dust bunnies. Okay. I will definitely try. Right now I'm trying to pick the worst possible solutions ever. Taking all the bad stuff. This is pretty heavy. Take the bolt cutter. We're taking all the bad stuff. Da da. Da 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 da. Gathering. All the bad stuff to climb down the hole, disregarding all the safety that I should have for myself. We're gonna climb down this hole with the most garbage things around. Hope I don't die, but very likely I will die. All right. This vine might be able to serve as a possible rope. Cut it down. I know it's a bad idea because if I cut it, it will turn brittle. So let's cut that. Carefully cut down the vine. But petals and pollen still get everywhere. You took the yellow flowering. Stuff. It did say, Mabel, that, uh one of the bad items can be turned good, so I think you might have a point with the, uh, possibly the knitting needles. This might, might be able to serve as a possible rope. Cut and take the red berry vine for climbing. Carefully cut down the vine, squishing many berries in the process. You took the red berry vine. I 
see you. There's something watching you from the darkness. Alright, let's see how many ropes I got. I have five. The large ball of yarn used for knitting. An old charger that you don't know what it's good for. So that's four. Plus the chain, plus the tire, plus this, plus the sheets. That's eight. What other bad ones are there? There's other bad ones? They said there's 15 things I could use to try and climb down. But. <gasps> Wait. Bush? Uh, that would be a good one, actually. Is it, one? it is one. Oh, okay. But I'm trying to find the worst items. To get the achievement for building the literally shittiest uh, rope. Yeah, I guess. I was just yeah, but that is one. Check the mailbox. No. There's a pretty big rock. What if I took... It's probably going to be heavy. Take the rock? Sure. I have another idea. The weight of the rock slows your movement. There's a pretty big rock on the ground. It's probably going to be heavy. Take the rock. Yeah, let's see if we can kill two birds with one stone. You're already holding a rock. You probably can't hold another one without crushing your bones. Damn. Nope. Oh. I think this is the best. Pretty sure this is the shittiest rock. This is the source of the voice. Alright, I think we got our shitty rope. Though I don't know if that's it. But let's give it a shot. The well leads into the inky darkness. You currently hold five pieces of possible rope. Tied them together and begin the descent? Yes! What could fucking go wrong? Your rope is... Creaking something is very wrong, <laughs> and we have died. Congratulations! We have died of dumbass disease. Uh, I hope that unlocked it, but maybe there's more. There's 15 items to find, so I don't freaking know how we're gonna find. If you fail, you're lucky killing you instantly. Body lays. The worst possible job. Did you get it? Yeah, oh. it's a picture of a toilet. We literally picked the worst items. All right. <clears throat> Can you blame her? She's six. She's like nine. I don't know. The average water temperature of Lake Chaplin is in spring is 39.2 Fahrenheit. For C for those in other countries. What? What the fuck does that mean? The average water temperature of Lake Chaplin. Are they just giving me random shit now? Like, uh, I don't have any more advice. Yeah. Couch sits. Uh, take... If I can't take the couch, you can't see if you can take something from underneath. Good to take. In your search, you found your knitting needles. Yeah. Take the knitting needles. Alright. Your knitting basket 
gives you comfort despite the stormy weather. Oh, you did it! Yay! Congrats, babe! Oh, needles used to make for scarves, weathers, and other yarn stuff. I bet you can make a. You can probably knit the yarn you have into a stronger rope. Knit the ball of yarn into a knitted rope? Yeah! There we go, babe. You now have the knitted rope. One more ending's available. Yeah. That was so smart. In my defense, mm -hmm. I did see in the guide it mentioned the knitting needle. Oh. I didn't actually look any further than this to see if it exists. Okay. I didn't even realize, so I'm glad I, I just happened to wander. Thankfully, I didn't know where they were. I just wandered to the chair by accident and picked on the wrong thing, but the, bi the belts might be a good rope to substitute. Take Papa's belt. Yeah. Take Papa's belt. Yeah. How am I supposed to get over to those rosebuds? Anyway. Pair of bolt cutters, take those. It's a pretty heavy tool. Take the bolt cutters. Is that a flail in the background? It's a broken uh weed whacker. Oh. It I also was like, what is this medieval weapon doing back here? Cord is thick and new looking. Extension cord. Yeah, I was also just weirdly looking at it like, uh, what the fuck is this? Yeah, do it, babe. Play with the hardest difficult character. I hope you guys are all enjoying this. This has been really fun. It's, I'm having a good time, despite all the little, like, I'm like, what is, I want to know what happens. I even got another game that's a point and click that seems to have a dark story to it. And it was also free on Steam that came out this year. So, I want to give it a shot sometime. Maybe tomorrow. There isn't anything to snip here. You bitch, there is. Making me run around. Chain lining the bridge can make for a good rope. Cut and take the chains. It takes some extra strength, but you manage to snip the chain. You took the chain. One out of 29. I thought last time she was like one out of 10, wasn't she? I thought when we first saw her, she was like one ten. Huh. Suspicion. I don't know. I wonder. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Remind me to also check her uh, her stats later. I don't know why. If it's because she leveled up because of me finding more things, or if it's part of my theory that something is very much going on. swing, yes. Stuff. Shears. Find my people's serve as a possible rope. Cut and take the blue thorn vine. Carefully cut the divine. Use the shears to trim down. We got the blue thorn. I'm waiting for that dark shit to turn up again. Sorry if this is gonna be a bit. Into the inky darkness, you currently hold seven pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin descent. Yes. 
Haha. <laughs> now we're going. So I think trying to grab uh this might be a bad end, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it won't let me grab it either way. Okay. Keep going. Oh, <gasps> I made it to the bottom. Right? Wait, what the fuck? Kinda. Kinda. What the? Oh no! Don't touch those. The rope has come to an end. But oh ho! There's a vine growing along the well walls, but you don't see how deep it goes. No! Don't touch those! You managed to jump onto the vine, getting a good grip on it. And it's the, yep, it's the ones that are going to rip your skin off. Oh, fuck, it seems to have a good grip on you, too. The purple leaves and the vine stick into you. Wrapping you closer in the plant begins to suck out the blood from your body. No! You remember reading about this in that plant book. Was there a trick to fight those vines? Ah! Uh, how unfortunate of you to discover the overcast vamp vine in here of all places. Wait. Did you read that book? Or did another lily? You are now too weak to scream. <gasps> too weak to keep your eyes open. Too weak to continue. Oh shit! There is something about all the other lilies. Feed me, Lily. Feed me. Alright. Fuck. This is so intriguing. What is happening? <gasps> Three. We're close to the end, guys. Oh shit, nope, that was the wrong one to put the number. I can taste it. I don't know, probably. I thought, I thought I, no, I needed six, okay. Let's go get all the things we need to get the six ending. Seven flowers bloom on one vine. Looking at this makes your blood go cold. Oof. Oof this game. And it's a little dark humor. I bet this memorial has something to do with my past bodies. Let's get the sixth ending. Yeah, my thing went up to 31. That went from 29 to 31. What the heck? Suspicious. Suspicious! Why does my life keep going up? The chain lining the bridge could be made for a good rope. So, when I started this game, my character had a 1-10 on it. But every time she's died, her health has gone, like, up or something. So I have a theory that... And every time you die, there are flowers that get planted. Based on the number of which uh, bad end you got. So I'm wondering, I have a theory that this girl might be a clone. Each time, she's a different clone. I think there's a bad end. I bet I need to get... I bet the six is the best one, and then you need to grab a bunch of shit. So. Time to go down the hole. This is the source of the voice. Hi, welcome back. All that can be heard now is the echoes of raindrops. If you wish to save the person trapped in the well, you will need to construct a rope. Alright, I got my perfect rope, I think. This well leads into inky darkness. You currently hold six pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin descent. Yes. Here 
here we are. The rope has come to an end. But there seems to be a large room here. What a strange room. What the fuck? This... What's that? You look closer at the unknown pile in the corner. Oh god, is it me? Oh. Oh! It is a corpse covered in maggots. Do you know what maggots are, Lily? You've learned about them before. They are body... They are baby flies that eat dead things. Oh? Now what? You no longer... Hear the sound of rain, but it is now pitch black. Someone must have covered the well. Well now, even though you can't see, you may want to get comfortable with the maggots. They may be your only company for a while. Ooh. Itchy, itchy, tasty. Oh boy. Do you think when you get to the bottom of the pit, there's just going to be a pile of you? Gosh, maybe. I was hoping to see another flower, but there's no flower. Hmm. Hmm, nice. That's not a bad number. Whoa, wait, what did I do? <gasps> there's more? The fuck? The stream flows quickly from the rain. While the water only goes up to your knees, it could easily drag you under. It's a cave entrance down the stream. The rain is causing the stream to move fast, making it too dangerous to investigate. The stream flows quickly from the rain. Huh. What? Uh favorite number? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think very hard about what number I like. I like 13. But I don't know if I say 13 is a lucky number. I don't really have a lucky number. I don't think. Okay. Take these bull cutters. Hang on. There's a pretty big rock here. Hang on, I have a I have a theory. I have a plan now. Probably going to be heavy. Take the rock, yes. You take the walk. The rate of the walk slows your movement. That's fine. Here we go. Let's... It's rock. It's an unimpressive one. I bet I could put rocks... If you put... A rock in the water, it might help make a path across. Place the rock in the water? Yes. You carefully put the rock in the water. Yeah! I see now. I see now. All right, I'm on the right track. Are you heading to bed, baby? Okay. Be yeah, I just want to move some stuff out of my way. And we probably got to fix the bed a little. All right, guys, I am back. Thank you so much for your patience. And we're gonna continue the story. I feel like Dad would probably also really like this game. Cause Dad likes kind of point and click adventures mixed with horror. Let's see. This is a free game on Steam, so if you're ever interested, just look up Lily's Well. There's a pretty big rock on the ground. It's probably going to be heavy. Take the rock? Yes. You took the rock. The weight of the rock slows your movement. Let's hope I find more rope.
touch the rock. Just get one more rock. If you put the rock in the water, it might help make a path to the cross. Place the rock in the water? Yes. You carefully put the rock in the water. Alright. One more should do it. One more should do it. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there is the sixth one. I was wondering. Six flowers are growing here. Are there going to be flies on it? All the flowers are covered in bugs. It makes you it makes your skin itch. Ooh. Ouchie. Alright. It's a pretty big rock on the ground. Let's take it. Hmm. It's probably going to be heavy. Take the rock? Yes. You took the rock. The weight of the rock slows your movement. Give me just one second to check something. You carefully put the rock in the water. Yay! Now this is an area I have not been... What is this? A net, net protects a group of small underwater plants. The net is made of thick fishing wire. Huh. What is this? There's a knife with a strange blade hanging on the wall. The knife has a wavy blade and an oily liquid on it. There's a worn birthday card. Read it. The front of the card has a picture of a black rabbit holding a flower. It reads, Happy one year of being here. On the inside, is a picture of even more black rabbits holding flowers. It reads, Happy first birthday, Lily. July 20th, 1985. 1985. You've grown so much in just a year. Never forget that you're surrounded by people who love you. With love, Auntie Mifu. Huh. The blade. Take it. This doesn't belong to you. Take the knife. Yeah, he took the knife. How about I take the fishing rat? The net is held down by spikes. Pulling at it causes small cuts forming your damp palms. What if I... Bolt cutters? What if we use those? The net seems to be pretty sturdy. Cut it and use it as rope. You cut the net free it from the stakes it was attached to. You took the net. Alright. Nineteen eighty five. The stream flows quickly from the rain. There's nothing to take from the water. Nineteen... Nineteen eighty-five. Okay. One. Wait. It's the 
six digit safer keypad in it. it. Seems to have space for six numbers. Oh fuck, that was a birthday. Shit. Seems to be wrong. I should have been paying attention to the Oh, maybe I can remember what the card says. There we go. It's a one birthday card. Read it. There we go. Open the card. It's a picture of a black rabbit. Needs happy one year. It reads, Happy First Birthday, Lily, July 20th, 1985. 7 20 85. 7 20 85. Okay. P with a P put on it. There's six letters. Yes. seems to be wrong. No? July 20th. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. 20th, 1985. Okay. 19. Ah, uh, that seems to be wrong. Huh. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. The well leads into inky darkness. Currently hold eight pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin to set. Well. Let's see if we did it. Hit the end. <gasps> the rope has come to an end. Hope of discovery, however, is not lost. The vent presents itself nearby with its cover partially removed. Alright, what is it now? There's a fan, move, a fast moving fan out of the way. Oh. We fell through the vent, putting too much weight on one of the covers. Uh, uh. The fall has broken your leg. The pain is immense. Oh! The sound of your fall has caused the residents of the room to awaken. Ooh. I'm pretty sure that's me. Those look like me, like bad clones of me. Okay. 
Uh, noisy monsters. What the fuck? Hate flowers bloom together. It smells like rotting meat. Ugh. Tucks the mailbox. There are three letters in the mailbox. What the fuck? Stained letter. Oh. Sorry about that. It's a letter with a coffee mug stain. That wasn't there before, so it seems like every time I unlock something, something else slowly happens. Dear resident of Bethany's Meyer, Mir. There was a recent case of multiple outsider vehicles making onto the roads of our community. Investigations have shown that they were not students of our local college and said ordinary Vermont residents. The majority of them have been directed to the outside world with issue, but some have fallen prey to our local wildlife. Uh... We see an unknown vehicle without a mere charm in their rear view window. Please redirect them to the main road. The mirror council? This is feeling kind of fucked up. Like this is a culty little uh town. There are three letters in the mailbox. It's a letter with a red wax seal. Read it. Here, College of Azov staff members. Many of you are already aware of the Project NIMP's progress at this point in time. Hmm. While we are all certainly while we all certainly share excitement with the start of the iterative learning process stage, many have additionally noticed that side effects created by the previous step. Our janitorial staff is working hard to push back the mercurial flooding in the capillum's tendrils. In the meantime, it is recommended to use large objects as bridges if you or your students need to cross flooded areas. We are all very sorry for the trouble. President Wolfgang Ebler Three letters in the mailbox. A fancy letter. It's a letter with a fancy envelope. Read it. Hello, Antonio. How is everything with your little Lily? It feels like it's been so long since she was first born. I will never forget how nervous you were during the labor. To the point you cried. I never seen you cry before then. You held her and called it the most important day of your life. I nearly cried myself. I know it's been a while, so I've been curious how she's doing in that cabin of yours. With you working yourself half to death, it should be fine for me to watch her for a night or two, right? I'm sure you could use the pressure off your shoulders. Ha ha ha. I'll come as soon as you call, alright? Max. Where did all the rocks go? Oh please, are they already just there? Ah, oh, they are. They're all just there. Oh, I'm glad I don't have to do the rock puzzle again. 
It says, Warren Birthday Card, read it. The front of the card has a picture of a black rabbit holding a flower. It reads, Happy One Year of Being Here. Oh, and inside is a picture of one. It reads, Happy First Birthday, Lily, July 20th, 1985. 1985? You've grown so much in just a year. Never forget that you are surrounded by people who love you. Love, Andy Wavy. There's a knife with a strange blade hanging on the wall. Yeah. This doesn't belong to you. Take the knife. Weird knife you found in the cave by the stream. Knife won't help you here. Okay. A nut. Pair of shears used for maintaining the garden. Let's cut these. This bolt cutters. Seems to be pretty sturdy. Cut it and use it as rope. Yes. You cut the net free. Two from mistakes. You took the net. Okay. Back to this. The stream flows quickly from the rain. stream flows quickly from the rain. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> There's a memorial with someone in a language you don't understand. Could it be? Hang on. The knife might fit in the memorial's hole. Put it in? Yes. We slowly stab the knife into the memorial. It's a perfect fit, but you lost the knife. Uh... Shit, what is this? The stone case is filled with a black liquid and long, tangled hair. It's impossible. Tell where the hair begins or ends inside. We don't know if the hair is moving on its own. It's a trick of the rain. What the fuck? The stone kiss. Take it. You put your hand in the hair and pull at it. It seems to be attached to something. Knitting needles. Sew that hair together. Oh, wait, pink hair despite your new experience. Um, maybe shears? You might be able to cut this hair for a rope. Cut and take the oily hair for rope. As soon as you cut off some hair, the rest gets quickly sucked into the liquid below. You took the oily hair. Nothing but the foul smelling liquid remains. The raindrops fall into the stone memorial but don't mix into the liquid. Instead, the raindrops sit on top of the liquid as if it were solid. Weird. I got. I'm sorry, I got hair? Oily hair? Small. Okay. Thank you. 
should be allowed to break into his pantry. Do not care, we open. What is that purple hair is my hair? You go outside, take a piece of jerky, yes. I kept wondering what that purple on the floor is. Could it possibly be pieces of my hair? Ugh. This is the bathroom sink. The sink is clean with a mirror hanging right above it. Actually, there's a clump of hair on the drain. It's long, so it's probably yours. There's a safe with a keypad on it. Space for six numbers. Let's see this pocket. It's a receipt. 20, American Crit, XX, 5, Addle Body, 1, Merm Cardio, total, small note written on the bottom of the paper. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. It should be... Seven, nineteen eighty five. Did I fuck it up last time? Keypad. Twenty nineteen eighty five. Uh, that seems to be wrong. What else could it be? A trash can. It's empty. things do I have? Long hair covered in sticky but oily liquid. It's strong. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is horrifying. This is the source of the voice. All that can be heard now is the echoes of raindrops. If you wish to save a person trapped in the well, you will need to construct a rope. The well leads into inky darkness. You currently hold nine pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin the descent. Oh boy. Here we go. Once more. Wonder what we'll find. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying because there's a thing where every ending gives you a number, and so far, I can't figure out the code, so I'm wondering if I'm, god damn it, I'm on the wrong track. The rope has come to an end, but you can see the bottom of the well. You can't see it very well, but you can see it. Maybe you sh should go back up and find something to get a little further. You're so close, you're- <sighs> Someone cut your rope. Ow. You try to stand, but your legs are broken. Standing out from the red covering your leg is the white of a bone breaching your skin. Uh, 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 help me! Someone help! Please! My name is Lily! Your cries for help echo throughout the well. Please! It hurts! Papa! Please! I'm sorry. I was a bad girl. I'm sorry. I want to go home. Dead end. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. The girl, yeah, in the beginning of the game, somebody was saying it hurts. And it could have been very much you. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, sorry. Guys, I'm gonna move to the living room real quick, so I... Give me one moment. Alright, I have moved rooms. And we should be all good. So, let's see if we can try and finish this up. I have enough numbers that I can... Do it mostly on my own, and I can just guess the last number if I need to. And to start it over... We're gonna do it one more time. Some puzzles have more than one solution to them. This can sometimes lead to different paths. Huh. Hmm. Some puzzles have more than one solution to them. This can lead to different paths. Someone cut your rope. Skip the intro. No. So I'm gonna redo this intro so people can understand sort of what I was talking about with Mabel about the whole hearing the voice in the well and being like huh that sounds exactly like the beginning it is a cold rainy day in the Tabachi household you are Lily Lily is a young innocent girl nine years of age you live in a modest home with your papa on this cold and rainy day you are knitting on the couch while papa packs his things tonight Give me one second, my dad is on, so give me one second. My cat, dad called at like two just to let me know there's a steam sale going on, I love him. Alright, tonight he needs to go to work in order to teach a night class. As Lily is a good child, Papa trusts you to stay safe while he is gone. Before he leaves, Papa makes hot dogs and a box of mac and cheese. He helps you pour the cheese sauce on your hot dogs in order to make it taste better. You enjoy your meal, together, ignorant of future events. Papa puts you to bed, with the sound of rain lulling you to sleep. Hopefully, I don't sound too bad. Help! Someone! Help! Oh shit, you awaken to the sound of a voice. Thank you. 
Lily. Oh, this is. This is literally from the episode before. So, um, there was a scene previously where you got an ending where you broke your leg and you're down in the well crying out for help. And at the very beginning of the game, you, uh, this is, this is, I'm showing the beginning of the game to get caught up on the previous, uh, ending. The voice seems to come from outside. You look out your bedside window. Nobody. There's nobody among the rain and darkness. Was it a dream? You open your window a crack to listen closer. Please. It hurts. Help. The well. Someone is in the well. The rope normally hanging from it has vanished. You are a good girl, so you get out of bed to go help. Read instructions? No. Instructions can be viewed at any time from the files tab in the staff menu. Hi, Penta. Alright. And it's a point and click. It's a point and click. It's your bed. Tick. You remember the movie that Papa brought back on weekends where prisoners use sheets to escape from prison? Take the sheets as rope? Yes. You took the sheets. Drawer has some of Papa's clothes. So I've been playing for four hours and I've gotten almost every ending, but I think the true ending, so I'm kind of just grabbing stuff as I go. The belts might be a good rope substitute to tie together. Take Papa's belt as rope? You took Papa's belt. What is your password? I know it's something. There's a safe with a keypad on it. Seems to have space for six numbers. If the card said, July 20th, 1985. 1985. Should be July. For some reason, they messed up and they meant June. Ah, that seems to be. Ugh. Where are you? Seven twenty eighty five. 2085 I did that last time and it didn't open but I'll try it again cuz that I got a card that gave me a birthday on it and I figured that would be the code but when I put it in last time it didn't work but I'll try it one more time seems to have space for six numbers try to open the safe 72085 ah uh, that seems to be wrong so it's not that but that's the only one I know that's like a six digit number. Twenty nineteen eighty five. I tried that, but I'll do it again because I also did seven nineteen eighty five. I figured maybe it would be that. I even did one uh, nineteen eighty five because the card was a one year birthday for one year old. It's a letter, just Papa. I've already read this. Tony, I hope you find this letter well. I'm writing to you from Mother's home. She required extra help regarding the pig farm. She is personally. I'm gonna try and get that letter and then I'll show it to you, Dad. Has asked about you and Lily. Mother is especially curious about your projects on your research project. When Mother heard that you were pursuing her specialty, she was delighted to see how you would do. Please write to her and possibly send samples. I only expect to stay on the farm for the next year or so before returning to Maine. With your permission, I'd like to visit ho your home on the way. Thank you for your time, Vic. Okay. 
couch sits with nobody to sit on it. Couch sits with nobody to sit on it. But you can't take the couch. You can see. You can see if you can take something from underneath it. Let's see if there's anything good to take. In your search, you found your knitting needles. Take them. Yes. Nine flowers are blooming in this bush. So all these flowers represent all the endings I've gotten, all the bad ends I've gotten. The words you hear from the well echo in your mind. Aww. Thank you, Dad. I appreciate the subscribe with Prime. I love you too. Very much. There's a worn birthday card. Read it. Yes. The front of the card has a picture of a black rabbit holding a flower. It reads, Happy One Year of Being Here. On the inside is a picture of even more black rabbits holding flowers. It reads, Happy First Birthday, Lily, July 20th, 1985. You've grown so much in just a year. Never forget that you are surrounded by people who love you. With love, Auntie Mifu. There's a knife with a strange blade hanging on the wall. Take it. This doesn't belong to you. Take the knife? Yeah, take the knife. You took the knife. Your knife you found in a cave by a stream. If I use the knife, a knife won't help you here. Oh, fine. Try 7 20 1984. Oh! Because I would have been born the year before. That's actually. That's a good point. This is safe with a keypad on it. It seems to have space for six numbers. Try to open it with the safe. Seven, two, eighty-four. Oh! That seems to be the right password! What a clever child! Thank you, Dad. I'm so dumb. I should have realized that if it was the first birthday, it would have been the year before. But yeah, that was, that was much clever. Thank you. What a clever child. What is it? There's a long whip inside the safe. Why is there- the whip is long and completely unfrayed. It could make for a good rope. Alright, there's a long whip inside the safe. Take it. <laughs> Papa won't be happy with this. Take the bull whip as rope? Aw. You took the bull whip. I just- ugh, I was like so attached to the idea of like, that has to be the password because it's- that's how it's written and usually when you find a written code, it's- it's, it's exactly like that. But that was actually a lot more clever. Okay. Use the- oh no, shit, I didn't grab the thing I needed. I'm missing some stuff. Alright. I ran back to the house because I was so excited. Da da ba da 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 Nope, nope. A large pair of garden shears are buried in the ground. Take those. Oh, it's free! It's actually free! Dad, there are two games I wanted to recommend. This one, it's called Lily's Well. It's a point and click. It's free. And the other one is called, if I can find it, my thing's a little slow right now. There's another game that came out. 
that's also free, and it's also a point and click. Uh, did I put it here? I might have not grabbed it actually, because I don't think I have the. Notifications, not notifications. Let's check my wish list. So long as there is mercy is the other game. So. Both those games are on Steam for free and it, from what I saw they were both point and clicks. Children and large scissors usually don't mix. Take the shears, yes. We took the shears. A pair of bolt cutters are hanging on the wall. Take those. This is a pretty heavy tool. Take the bolt cutters, yes. You took the bolt cutters. There's a spare extension floor. Spare extension floor. <laughs> That word gets me every time, the misspelling of cord. There's a spare extension cord on the floor. The cord is thick and new. Take the extension cord as rope. Yes, you took it the extension cord. Then, we're gonna go ahead and shove this knife into this. A knife won't help you here. There's a memorial for someone in a language you don't understand. I'm gonna go ahead and jam that knife right in there. The knife might fit in the memorial's hole. Put it in? Yes. You slowly stab the knife into the memorial. It's a perfect fit, but you lost the knife. The stone case is filled with a black wicked and long tangled hair. So while I've been playing this dad, I came up with this theory that every time it's possible that you are a clone of all your previous because uh, there was a book that talked about how like flowers will plant over bodies and every time you have a gruesome death, a flower will show up uh, with the number of how, what ending you got. And you'll always come back, and sometimes they'll imply that there's other versions of you. And like inside this memorial, there's a chest of purple hair, and your character has purple hair. So like way back, I was like, is this some like, am I being a clone of something? Is this some weird? So that's that's my theory. I'm gonna see if it's true. I think I'm on the right track. It looks very much like that might be what happens. Seem to be attached to something. All right, uh, stuff. Shears. Might be able to cut this hair for a rope. Cut and take the oily hair for rope. As soon as you cut off some hair, the rest gets quickly sucked into the liquid below. You took the oily hair. Okay. A vine growing along the tree. Yeah, apparently you need to make a big rope because you're trying to get to the very end of the floor. So I think you need 10 rope at the very least. Cheers. It's from what I found. I made it to 9 last time, and now with the bullwhip that I got from unlocking the safe thanks to you, I should have 10 rope. And that should get me to the very bottom. This vine might be able to serve as a possible rope. Cut the blue thorn vine for climbing? Yes. You carefully cut down the vine and use the shears to trim down the thorns. You took the blue thorn vine. Your tire swinging hangs empty and alone. Shears. Rope 
cold strong, but the shears should cut them. <laughs> this hanging out should be able to use this rope. You can make toilet paper into rope. It won't work very well, but you can use it as rope. Cut and take this tire swing rope for climbing. There's an ending where, or there's an achievement you can get. Um, there's a, 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 there's an achievement you can get for making the, per, the most out of a uh, shitty, all the shittiest uh, things that you could use for rope. This rope holds thick, but the swing goes down. You took the tire swing rope. <laughs> Snap the padlock off this. You really aren't allowed in the pantry. Break the lock anyway? Yeah. The lock easily snaps off. Papa can probably get a new one. Alright. It's a large sealed bag of beef jerky. Take. This may be a good treat while outside. Take a piece of jerky? Yes. You took the jerky. Let's see what I have now. <laughs> Sears, bolt, cutters, knitting needles, jerky. How many ropes do I have right now? Tire swing rope sheets. I go up. S pull whip. Oh wait, extension cord. Pull whip. Papa's belts. Booth on vine. Sheets. Tire swing rope. I'm missing something. What am I missing? knitting needles. You could probably knit the yarn you have into a stronger rope. Knit the ball of yarn into a knitted rope? Yes. You now have a knitted rope. I think I know where the other one is now. Beef jerky. I don't know what the beef jerky is for, but it must be important. Shears? That seems to be pretty sturdy. Cut it down and use it as rope, yes. You cut the net, freeing it from the stakes it was attached to. You took the net. Okay. Stuff. Not keys. Shed key, one of 100. How many shed keys are there? Uh, 9 out of 50. Okay. Oily hair, net, knitted rope, extension cord, bullwhip, papa's belts, blue thorn divine, sheets, tire swing rope, there has to be something I'm missing. Wait, why is that? <coughs> it's back. It's a knife with a strange blade hanging on it. Alright, this doesn't belong to you. Take the knife? Yeah, I'll take it again. Weird. Weird. Oh, 
Oh, here it is. This chain serves as a handrail to the bridge. So, bolt cutters. That short. <coughs> the chain lining the bridge can make for a good rope. Cut and take the chains for climbing? Yes. Take some extra shank, but you managed to snip the chain. You took the chain. Alright, and that should be all ten. If I'm correct. If I remember counting right. Okay. I did it. Let's do it with 10 now. This is the source of the voice. All that can be heard now is the echoes of raindrops. If you wish to save the person trapped in the wall, well, you will need to construct a rope. The well leads into inky darkness. You currently hold 10 pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin to descent. Yes. It's time to go. <coughs> what awaits us at the bottom? there. <gasps> yes! The rope has come to an end. You did it. You made it to the bottom. Oh dear. Nobody is here. Your only company is bones, rotting meat, and maggots. And company's bones, rotting meat, and maggots. Good thing you have experience with maggots. Oh dear again. Someone cut the rope. It's up to you now to decide what to do. Open the stairs, it's only being cut. Can I not? Uh, wait. A metal. Metal door sits between you and the only exit to the well. There's a dim light shining through the bars in the door. Oh, oh, shit. Hang on. Give me one second. Sorry for the panic. I thought my computer was charging and then all of a sudden I looked and it wasn't. And I was like, oh, I need to hurry up before I lose this. What did it say? Metal door. It sits between you and the only exit to the wall. Let me look at that again. There's a dim light shining through the bars in the door. Bolt colors? You'd probably be able to get through the door if you cut the bars. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. You break through the bars and unlock the door from the other side. Oh. You don't want to go back to the corpse pit. What the heck? The door's locked. This is the door to the stairs. There is an out of order sign with the door additionally being locked. That is a fire hazard. What the fuck? of 
photos and notes slid to the cork board on the wall. The notes are connected to pictures via thread and push pins. They seem to detail the names, ages, and blood types of the people in the photos. Additionally, there seems to be extra notes detailing capture risk level for each person. You do not recognize any of the photos, but something about their face makes your body shake. Huh. Oh, what the fuck is my dad doing in this game? There's a man sleeping on the couch. The man has a light dusting of cheese powder on his fingers and beard. His name says, says Freddy Fungus. In the game, your dad has gone off to do something. And it's impl- Oh! I found a secret do- Oh! This key. The barred lock. Bars are too thick for you to fit your hand between. Use the ditty needles. Your knitting needles are thin enough to get past the bars. Use them to pull in the key. You got the office key. Cut might have worked too. Because you can use different. Alright. Can I wake him up? I'm gonna take this man. There's a man sleeping on the couch. Take him. There might be something in his pocket, but you don't want to risk waking him up. But yeah, it's very much implied. The theory is that your dad is cloning versions of you for whatever reason. Could be possible that the original child died. And he's trying to re-bring them back? I don't know. Hmm. What if I go here? There's an elevator. The call button doesn't seem to work without some kind of card. This looks like the... No, this looks like the office building. Use pillow to suffocate. Funny you should mention that. One of the endings is uh, if you get only five rope and you get down, you end up through a like window and then all of a sudden you wake up in your room and your dad's like, oh honey, what are you doing? And you were like, dad, I had this dream and I heard this noise and your dad's like, oh honey, it was just a dream and remember what dad told you, don't you? Even, even in dreams, you should listen to your father always. Like, if you hear screaming or if you hear help, never go near a well. And eventually he gets her to go to sleep and then as, he's go as she's going to sleep, you just see like hands come out holding a pillow getting closer to her face and then it cuts out. So yeah, in one ending, the dad does suffocate her. There's an inflatable plastic chair here. You always wanted a chair like this ever since you saw it in a Christmas toy magazine. Actually, you have a secret desire to have an entire house only containing brightly colored inflatable plastic furniture. Except the bed. You want a water bed. Heck yeah! Inflatable plastic chair. As much as you want it, it probably couldn't fit through the doorway. There's an inflatable plastic couch here. You always wanted a couch like this ever since you saw it in a Christmas toy magazine. Actually, you had a secret desire to have an entire house except the bed. You want a water bed. The shelf is lined with binders and folders. You see, children of the Stardust Studies, Azov Formation Documentation, and Notable Student Projects among the files. There's an ID card on the desk. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that. Take the ID card. You get the ID card. There's a computer here. An infinite maze is running on the screen as a screensaver. It's absolutely mesmerizing to watch. This 
computer here. Can I take it? The computer's heavy. Too heavy and too many parts. This is the door to Sarah's. There's an orange sign being locked. That is a fire hazard. Okay. There we go. Oh, beef. You're already on this floor. Press the scion button. There's a picture of a yellow circle on the wall. A little plaque is below the picture. It reads, Gold represents absolute perfection and the ultimate goal of all alchemists. While some alchemists desire to literally create gold, many have their own personal gold that they pursue. Seems like there's an exit that is always blocked off in some way. The metal plaque next to the door reads, Memorial Room. You hear people talking behind the door. Best not to get caught. A metal plaque next to the door reads archives. It's locked. Okay. Press the yellow button? Sure. There's a picture of a red arrow on the wall. A little plaque is below the picture. It reads, Brimstone sulfur represents heat, dryness, and the human soul. In certain religions, it is stated that hell smells of sulfur. Alchemic research has dictated that this may be due to the amount of probable souls residing in hell's fire. Metal door plaque next to the door reads incinerator. It's locked. The metal plaque next to the door reads recycle room. It's locked. The metal plaque next to the door reads scrap project respiratory. It's locked. Oh, gosh dang, what keys do I have? It's a lot of keys. Six, B5, B4, B3. Press the pink button. Hmm. A large window peers out. It's the inside of the well. Floor is covered in wet hair. Deeper down the hall is a thick liquid. It's the same as in the garden. Can I? Cut him? No more hair. No. Press the green button. There's a picture of a green triangle on the wall. A little placket below it reads, Earth is touch, movement, and physicality of the body. A soul must connect to these things in a body in order to claim it as its own. There's a picture of a red triangle on the wall. A little plaque below reads, 
Fire is love, rage, passion, and hatred all in one form. These are the key factors in a human soul, not just masculine ones. This picture of the blue triangle. The little plaque is below the picture. It reads, Water is blood, mercury, and the origins of life. In order for a body to operate life and soul, it must contain water. There's a picture of a white triangle on the wall. So now I'm thinking, with these, it's something to do with alchemy. Air is both heart, heat and wet, blood and soul. Souls move like air when not contained within a body. Oh, a bright sign reads in use next to the door. Best to stay hidden for now. How about this way? A bright sign. A metal plaque next to the door reads, Ninth Project Body Test Room. It's locked. Press the blue button. There's a picture of a green arrow on the wall. The little plaque is below the picture, it reads. Phosphorus is a special element with the ability to capture light itself. Because of its features, it can be used as a base for a new soul. Can I take the plaque? The picture is welded to the wall. Okay. The metal plaque next to the room reads dark room. It's locked. The metal plaque next to the door reads barrel storage. It's locked. The metal plaque next to the door reads surgical lab. A light shines from its red bulb above the door, signifying surgery is in progress. Hmm. Alright, press the red button. Hmm. cloaked figure. Yeah, even Freddy's having trouble with it. I heard they're going to start passing it off onto the work-study students. I sure folk fucking hope not. Nicole's been doing cleaning stuff for the Mercurial building. If they try to make her try to clean up that Azoth shit, I'm going to student re I'm going to student resources myself. Just let her do her own thing, man. Oh shit. Is that? Hey, uh Huh? Whoa, whoa. Uh is your name Lily? Papa. Papa said not to talk to strangers. But there's, there's bones and... You think she saw the pit man? Derek, shut the fuck up! Your dad, is he Professor Tomasi? Do you know Papa? Y yeah he should be in the home uh, uh, the lab. <laughs> Homunculus? Follow me, kiddo. I'll take you to him. Dude, what about our project? This will be like five minutes. Relax. Pink? Wait, 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 go back. Because this might have significance. Okay. Pink. Blue.
the fuck is that? Pa? 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 Lily? Papa? Oh, Lily, what happened to you? You're all wet. Were you out in the rain? There, there was a voice in the... You heard the well voice again? No, I didn't find anyone when I got to the bottom. I found an elevator and... This is the first time I think you've made it down here. What? Take a look at this, Lily. Take. A. Look. Ah. Good girl. Pa? Pa? What is... Your next iteration, Lily. Itter. It took years, but I finally managed to recreate your body. I'm sorry I couldn't get your hair color right, but that's just the price of working with Azov. The only difference that needs fixed is your soul. You can't help it being underdeveloped. You always promise to be a good girl, but you always end up breaking my rules, one way or another. The first iteration I made fell down the well. It saw me throw a delivery down there and thought it was someone who needed help. The stupid thing didn't even figure out the body was already dead. Didn't even listen to Papa's rule of not going outside alone at night. Tried doing what you did. You made a little rope. The rope snapped, but the iteration didn't die at first. As it screamed for help, I realized something. If you act out as a bad girl, you can die and have your soul put into another iteration with a clean slate. Your brain doesn't remember doing anything bad, but your soul will eventually remember that only bad things come from being a bad girl. One day this will make you the most perfect Lily without any of the actual trauma in your brain. My assistants and I recorded the first one's screams and decided to begin the experiment. I of course had to wonder. How many times will Lily die before she realizes that nothing good comes from disobeying Papa? We call it Generation I Iteration Development. Generation Iteration Development. Each new generation of Lily becomes smarter and smarter. We have enough meat so we can keep developing more bodies. I, I thought someone... I thought someone needed help. Here you are again. You think a voice coming from outside is more important than Papa? Papa? Let's see if this is what it takes for you to put your finger in your ears and just wait for Papa to come home. Still, I gotta say, Papa's proud of you for getting all the way down here. Tell you what, you can be my little apprentice again when you finally learn, okay? <sighs> Next iteration, okay? Give me that last number, bitch. One. Eight o oh, two four two six two three one three. A motherfucker. Oh, I want to see if I can. Hang on. 
Okay. I have the number, which is the first thing I'm going to call. However, oh, there's that last flower. A bush with ten flowers is growing here. Looking this causes a sharp pain to go through your head. Yeah, it certainly did. Screw it. Let's call. Call a phone number? Yes. First three digits. Eight. Oh, two. Second three digits. Four. Two. Six. Two. Is this hello my my name is Lily I'm home alone and I'm scared wait what did you say Lily how did you get this number it's um I it's my new cell number I think but I don't have a cell phone, and I don't know why I think I do. I feel like I remember a lot of things that didn't happen to me, but did happen to me, and... It's okay, Lily. Everything's gonna be okay. You live in a house with a well by it, right? It's right outside your window? Yeah. Oh, thank God he didn't move. Okay, Lily, I need you to wait in the living room for me and put a certain VHS tape in the TV. Can you do that for me? What movie tape? Clip Clop in Friends Collection Part 1. It's your favorite, right? Yeah. Good. It's going to take me a bit to get home, so you can keep putting in more movies if Clip Clop ends, okay? Okay. Just don't fall asleep and keep the door unlocked. Everything is going to be okay. Can I keep talking to you? I shouldn't talk and drive. Fuck it. Sure thing. What things are you remembering, Lily? Falling down the well. My bones hurting. Sometimes it goes dark when I fall, but sometimes I wake up. I... I know I woke up to hearing someone yelling from the well, but why do I remember also yelling? Shit. Papa. Papa! What? Is he there? Papa put a pillow on my face. Until I couldn't breathe. And, and, one time he, he took out a gun and... Oh my god. He's not going to hurt you anymore. I'm going to make sure of that. <laughs> when I heard you pick up, I think I remembered a lot more stuff. I still remembering a lot and I don't want to be alone. You won't be soon. <laughs> What's your name? Um, I don't know the easy way to answer that. Did I really die? Okay, no problem. Thank you, Dad. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for sticking around. Unless I'm talking to a ghost, I think you're alive. Papa. And 
and one of the memories Papa said something about me learning something. Generalisha International Dublin. What? Oh. Oh. Generation Inter- Iteration Development? Yeah. Are you Papa's real Lily? Oh. <gasps> Original Lily. Yeah. God. How many times did he put you through this? Lily version 22. I'm sorry. You don't have to count or anything like that. 22. 22. I did this 22 times. I'm sorry for making you drive. No. I think your soul remembered my number because you wanted help. Even if you weren't thinking about it, you called me for a reason, right? What's going to happen? Um, well, I don't have a solid plan, but getting you out of there is the main goal. I left a note for my boyfriend's mom explaining the situation. I left a note for my boyfriend's mom explaining the situation. She's pretty good at reading my scribbles, so it should be fine. Oh, there's a pretty good 24-7 diner we can check out after I pick you up. A diner? Yeah. They have killer chocolate chip pancakes. They also put whipped cream on top of their chocolate milk. Plus, rainbow sprinkles. You... you can also sleep in the car if you want. You're probably tired. Can we get the pancakes? Yeah! You spend the hours talking with a stranger you know so well. You feel... like you've never felt this level of comfort in your life, and it's possible that might be true. Okay, can you open the door, Lily? You slowly open the door. Oh? Oh, she's seen- what is with her shoulders right now? Her shoulder was looking real funky. Hey there, kiddo. Ah, uh, she's a bad girl. She's all punk. She didn't follow daddy's rules. That's why daddy made a clone of her to make his perfect daughter. Well, fuck you, papa. You can't control me. I'm leaving with my original self and we're getting out and we're getting pancakes and chocolate milk with rainbow sprinkles. Sorry to keep you waiting. Your hair is a lot of colors. <laughs> it does. I dyed it myself. Okay, my friend, uh, Burger Man helped. But I did a lot of the work, too. Burger Man? He's one of my buddies. Everyone's gonna be real psyched to see you. They don't know I came here yet, but it'll probably be fine. What's going to happen to Papa? He's going to get in trouble for what he did to you. I think his work is helping him. Of course they are. But uh, I should probably ask you this. Are you okay with leaving? I can help you grab your stuff. I want pancakes. 
All right, kiddo, let's pack up and grab those cakes. The two of you pack up various things from the house using the sheets as bundles. The woman you were meant to replicate managed to take all the VHS tapes off the shelf in one grab. The tapes all fell out of her arms when she tried to pack them up, though. Soon you were left in the back seat of her car. Just gotta finish up one thing, okay? The longer you were left in the car, the larger the pit of anxiety in your stomach grew. It's her van. It's pretty roomy in there, even with the things you packed up. The back kinda smells like a skunk, though. Something smells bad. What are you pouring? Hey, I thought I told you to wait in the van. S smells like the stove. Ah. Look, you're not going to like seeing this. Go back to the van. Is this Papa's punishment? Can I help? Sure, kiddo. You deserve it as much as me. Oh my gosh. Look at all that hair. You pour the kerosene all over the base of the house. Both of you Trench the garden, giving its residents one last drink. Finally, you send some down for Papa to deal with. Once we throw the lighter, there's no going back. No going back. I soaked the Azov hair in the garden with the tanks from the shed. the alchemists still have it growing around the campus it should light up like a fireball bye papa rest in piss papa despite the rain the house burst into violent flames Ah, oh, fuck yeah there's no more house to wake up in. The heat is intense even from a distance. And yet... It's okay to still love him. I... I still don't know why he hurt me. No matter what, he said I was a bad girl. She pulls you in close. Adults don't hurt kids. Lily, you didn't deserve anything he did to you. Just because someone's your papa, it doesn't mean they're right. You feel tears that don't belong to you begin to fall. The hug tightens on both ends. Lily needed this hug for a long time. Mm. We did it. <sighs> Break the cycle. Fuck yeah. Fuck that asshole. We're free. Did I get everything? Wait. I'll probably get the credits. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Lily's Well. And that was Lily's Well, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I think that's everything. 
I'm gonna double check if I got all the endings. But we did it. We got the true ending. I'm so glad we did. That was really good. There were some there's some like slowdown here and there. Just because the text would move very slowly. But otherwise, this this game was pretty good. I really liked it. It was a short point and click with a lot of interesting uh, twists and turns. I was correct. I was correct. I didn't know exactly how correct I was. I thought the original died. No, apparently the dad is a piece of shit who just wanted a perfect good daughter who didn't break his rules and fall outside his lines. So, people of our special thanks to you, my lovely friends who motivated me to keep moving forward with this whenever I'd send screenshots over. The people of our, P our RPG Maker who gave good feedback on the map previews I posted, those who purchased the bonus pack DLC, and of course you. You wanted a happy ending. You deserve it. Stats, you caused Lily to die 17 times. You found one hidden dead ends. Huh. Damn. Now I feel guilty. I let her die 17 times. Aww. Aww. The end. That's so cute! Past and present. You've reached the absolute end. If you want to experience the game again, please erase your save file. Ah shit. Ah shit. Here we go again. Did I get everything? Oh man. I hope I got everything. Guys, thank you so much for being here, for everyone who watched, for anyone who's just chilling. This has been great. I'm sorry it took so long. We got to the main end. I'm sure there's some achievements I am missing. I know there's some achievements I'm missing. Yeah, I have 14 out of 20, so. Uh, yeah, I could, I could keep going try to get the last achievements. No. I want to see what happens if I call immediately. Maybe something... Call a phone number? Yes. First three digits, let's try this again. Second three digits. Last four digits. Call went through. Hello, who is this? Hello? Papa says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Huh? Why did you call? Do you know what time it is? I don't know. Alright, who gave you my number? Um, I... I don't know. Look, kid, just go to bed. Don't call me again. But wait! She hung up. Alright. There's a man sleeping on the couch. Let's use the knife. A knife won't help you here. Boo! Says you. 
I think a knife can very much help a fisky. Stab him with the shears. Dot dot dot. Yes. Holy shit! You plunge the shears into the man's neck. He tries to scream, but the only thing that comes out is blood and a horrible gurgling noise. Damn, girl. They didn't pay him enough for you to do that. <laughs> Damn! A bleeding corpse is on the couch. Going through the corpse's pockets, you find an ID card reading Master ID. Take it? Yes. You got the Master ID card. You did this. I did do this. I fucking killed him. Sorry, that was terrible. But oh shit! And now I have the master keys, so I can go anywhere I want. Yes. He only loves his own memory. He only loves his own memory of you. Our flesh stretch throughout. Sorry, what? Our flesh. I just. Stand. Not a good idea. Our thrust stretch throughout. There we go. He read your college essay about Ma. Our hair will forever grow as long as our soul has a place to return to. I'm assuming that's what it is. Give me a second. I wonder if I can configure this real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in full mode. I want to read this now. This is what happens when you're an ungrateful brat. Kill yourself in front of him to see if he still has the capacity for emotion. Kill yourself in front of him to see if he still has the capacity for emotion. You don't even remember Ma. He only loves his own memory of you. The attic ladder is in the pantry. Okay, so that didn't do anything. I'm gonna put it back to normal. But Master ID. Oh, metal plate reads. Use the ID card to enter. Yeah. Uh. Looks just like your wardrobe. It's completely filled with oily hair. No. Ball of yarn is here. It isn't yarn. Not again. Lamp. There's no bulb. Lamp. It's stuck to the nightstand. What the fuck? It looks like you're bare. This isn't Sniffles. 
It smells like bathroom cleaner and is filled with sand. It's too heavy. Is this not my bed? My bed. Here. This should be the door to the bathroom. It's just more wallpaper behind the door. Not an option. Okay. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it here for the night. Because I'm sure there's other things, and maybe I'll record them on the off chance. But, we did a lot of the endings. We found a lot of what we needed. Um, had a lot of fun. Thank you all for watching. If you're still here, if you're probably not, most people are probably asleep by now. But I want to thank everyone who was here during the stream. This has been a long stream. It's been almost 6 hours and 30 minutes. Uh, this game is really short. I'm sure you could find all the evidence, or all the uh, endings in 6, 7, maybe 8 hours. Not a long game, but really fun. It's free on Steam. It's called Lily's Well. Very interesting story with... Uh, very interesting twists and turns to discover so yeah i highly recommend it you guys i just want to thank you all so much for chilling with me this time i'm gonna go finish it up get some stuff if i notice anything new or special that needs to be like oh i should record this i will record it but overall i think i'm gonna call it good here thank you guys so much for watching i will see you all next time with something else all right Thank you, thank you for getting to the end. We got to the true end, and that's, that's great. All right, thank you guys so much. Good night.